time no see, boys. Yeah, how's it? Yeah, I've been uh, absolutely knee deep in DCS shit, trying to sign off everything over to the guys so I don't have to lead it for much longer. Uh, so hopefully I can jump back on with Falcon a bit more. Cool. Since we've got a few new faces here for this campaign, I will go quickly through the theatre. So guys, uh, please um, join the stream. Uh, so, Zap at 81. We got... <laughs> Uh, on the on the friendly sites, we got uh, friendly aircraft, so typical stuff, uh, US Ooh. and the UK fighters, which you can expect. Uh, Denmark and Netherlands is also friendly, so is Norway. So we have star fighters, we have mirages, and we have the vipers, of course. Sweden is still neutral; they fly vegans. And on the Warsaw Pact, we got uh, fishbirds, floggers, fitters. Lim sixes, which is a um, MiG nineteen or seventeen, and then we got the Fox Bats twenty sevens and bombers and helicopters. So shoot the MiGs, don't shoot the not MiGs. Yeah, pretty much. Um, this is what the theater looks like. So we got this is the Warsaw Pact invading. We got uh, NATO, which in BMS due to some constraints mm -hmm. is uh, he emerged as West's. Germany plus Netherlands, called NATO, then we got also Denmark and in the north, Norway and Sweden. The main invasion is coming along the East German border. Now, where to join? We have F-16s flying from uh, Skritstrup Air Force Base in Denmark, and we got the F-15s flying from the Horn based. So go to Horn if you are F-15 or if you are the Warhawk 4, but this one is full already, or go to Skritstrup for the Strikers and the Deed. Eagles are now full, just as a heads up. That's excellent. Yeah, so I, we... uh, Batman, this is an English community. I mean, you just start speaking English. What are you? Skritstrup in New York. I'm continue. Why not? I had to look up some of the Swedish and Danish names because some <laughs> of them are written in such a way I have no bloody idea how to pronounce it, especially the Swedish well, Guys, one. just just wait till we get to Poland. Then we all stop. <laughs> then that's, we'll that's the easy part. The, 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 the CDs easy. are silent. It's fine. That's the easy one. All right. So about the package. Package is 50-30. It will be an Oka strike. So go to the ATO Oka, find the 50-30. We'll have one Viper Oka. This should be a four ship. Then we will have two deed flights. They don't have to be four ships. And we got an Eagle one, a DCA, and a Viper DCA. And both of them should be filled up as much as possible. So let me quickly have a look at our composition. So Oka is not full. Moller one is too full. So guys from Moller uh, split between Oka and possibly Stonecut. But okay, that's cool. Um, that's, I see that's a dream team. Jesus, God. All the, it's all the new players <laughs> in one flight. No, no. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you do it. Let you do it. We'll need one person in Stonecut, because I'm not, not going to do it alone. And Warhog is full. How many people are we, by the way? I have to bring back the number of people in the briefing room. Uh, As it is, it is best when you spread the experience around. Yeah. So who is in Oka? Uh, it's not bad. Uh, Deed is too good. Town cat. And the the eagle and the warhog is full. Is that correct? Then I don't have to have a look at. Yep. That. Yeah, we're full. Okay. Good. We can go like this. Nah. Nah, we can't go like this. We need definitely someone in Nightwing. It should be a four ship because otherwise they won't be able to carry out their mission and that's they need they need four so i suggest two guys from Moller. uh one of you go to nightwing and the other guy can stay so i'm not gonna say who's going to go to nightwing but you guys decide cool so let's continue with the briefing. Um, what's happening today? We got an uh, Oka on Damgarten. So you remember last week, those of you who were there, we destroyed some of the coastal SAMs protecting the airbase. Now we're going to hit the airbase. It's an airbase with floggers and fitters. And it's still protected by two FA-2s. 
weather is good. We have afternoon. Uh, you can expect some clouds over the uh, target, but not too many. So, uh, Danish Skritstrup Air Base, where the strikers are coming from, Horn, where the escorts are coming from, and the DCAs. We got a common holding point, which is somewhere over Denmark. Then there will be a Eagle Viper lane, which initially is not where the line is showing you because you want to be outside of the SA2 weathers. So this is where you initially will be capping. And then very important, we got the black hole point, PPT for everyone. Now black hole is the push point for the strikers. And there is strict timing when everyone should be over black hole. If for whatever reason we cannot be, we'll know it somewhere between holding point and the push point, and then we Rolex. But we Rolex once, we don't Rolex 50 times for everyone. And we still have quite some time at the holding point. So if you have any technical issues, uh, let's gather here and then make a clean push. So this is the target, Damgarten, codename Melodrama. This is also your PPT, Mel, and the two SA2s neighboring, Tin Pot, the western one, and Bricktop the eastern one. Both are named with uh, a, a appropriate PPT, so Tidpot and Bricktop. You will see it in your DTC. Game plan. We all gather at stew point three, which is common for everyone, and it's a holding point, so there are a few minutes of holding time there. The escorts will push a little bit earlier. I think your push time is two minutes before, and your job will be to set up uh, a cap before the strikers come and clear out the airspace of any enemy caps. Now, since we killed some of their SAMs, they have strengthened their cap presence here. So you can expect uh, floggers, possibly fish beds, and of course, a ton of strikers, but those one you should ignore. Prioritize the uh, enemy fighters. About the tactics for Turkey and Warhog, I think you clarified in your briefing. But this is something that we've practiced on Mondays. F-15s use the sparrows and F-16s come in and clean up uh, whoever remains with sidewinders. And F-15s don't get into the edge fight and dogfight. Black hole is the push point. Nominal push time is 1426 Zulu. And important, the push speed is 500 knots and push altitude is 200 feet. So you should have built up a speed by the time you get to black hole of 500 uh, knots. That's why don't fly, you know, exactly the carrot. Try to manage it so that you cross black hole at the given time and also at the given speed. Now, the speed is important because from this moment on, uh, the TOT is based on your speed. So the TOT is about three minutes later at 1429. And again, it's computed for 500 knots. And I, the idea is that the deeds and the strikers arrive at the target at the same time. Um, Mauler and Stonecat, you're the deed flight. So you will attack uh, Bricktop and Tin Pot. Uh, use NOE to ingress. Uh, the ingress is safe because you're over water. Um, and as I said before, the timing is essential because we want to make the SA2s busy and we want to kill them exactly the same moment that the strikers arrive at the airbase. Nightwing, you're the Oka. Now, your primary target, and hear me well here, is the target, uh, is the aircraft on the ramp. So you don't go there and blow up the runway. You have your first element which should blow up the aircraft on the runway. Now, there will be 100% aircraft on the runway because they will be also scrambling. They will definitely manage to scramble something, but they will have a lot of aircraft waiting to uh, to intercept the rest of the package. So you come in and first you drop the bombs on anything uh, which is on the taxiways or on the ramps. Now your second element comes behind you and destroys the runways. Uh, Turkey stick and Warhawk, as mentioned before, you establish cap here. The only difference is that Warhawk has a secondary mission, and that is when the strikers are passing Black Hole at 1426. Um, Warhawk, not Warthog, Warhog will push with the strikers and you will provide close escort and you will clean up any uh, scramblers coming of melodrama. So you join everyone and also fly with them formation and your mission is to 
engage the uh, loggers and bind them so that they do not interfere with the deed or with the focus strike. SA2 site. This is the schematic of the SA2 site. Both of them look the same, uh, tin pot and brick top. So you will have this circle with six launchers around the fan song. Now spawn rest is on the side, and then there are some buildings around the place. So uh, you will acquire your targets visually. So remember, you want to aim in the middle, drop your bombs in the middle of the circle. This is where you can expect the fan song. And melodrama looks like this. There is a one runway, 0725. Here you got the ramps, so you can expect aircraft on the ramps and also on the taxiways. Now, I didn't check the wind. You can do it. Um, you can check the wind on the target side and then expect them either on this end, on that end of the runway. Anyways, the suggested tactic for the Oka is to send the first element in front and have them pincer the runway and uh, look for the aircraft and drop the bombs from both ends of the runway. And it's one pass hola, so drop all of your bombs on the uh, aircraft waiting on the taxiways or the ramps and then go away. And some seconds later, the second element should come in and drop the bombs on both runway thresholds. These are marked by the big captain bars, so you drop your bombs on the captain bars. Contracts. Simple ones, so cap establish, uh, just informative. Alamo, so if the cap is overwhelmed and has to retrograde, then call Alamo. We all retrograde west. We got some hawks on the Danish main line, so we have to go all the way back almost to our home plates. There we'll have friendly aircraft and also hawks. Now, black hole, very important. Strike pushing, IP inbound. Once you pass black hole, call black hole so that it's clear. Of course, don't step over. Wait a few seconds. Let the, the other flight say it. But it's very important that we all cross the push point at the given time and speed. If we don't manage to do it, the attack will be a nightmare. Attack complete. So uh, for the deed and strikers, if you neutralize the SA2 sites or neutralize the runway, say call attack complete and if we have all three attack completes then that's miller time uh, remember for taxi announce on uhf when you're taxing so that the next flight can immediately start taxing mm. last thing on landing we had the discussion last time still have to prepare a slide you call approach to get the runway heading and then you immediately switch to tower and from, from that moment on we will deconflict on the tower frequency uh, familiarize yourself with the threats, that's it today, it's only SA2 plus the Shorat. So don't forget the SA2 sites will be 100% protected by the Shorats. So this will include the um, SA9s and also the Shilkas. Uh, there is no really good tactic to avoid them other than don't attack the SA2 sites, but we have to do it today. That's it for the briefing. Any general questions? Question. Mm -hmm. On the brevity and contract slide, it says uh, Damgarten destroyed. So are we going to call Damgarten when the airbase is done or melodrama destroyed? Oh, melodrama. Okay, great. I want to bring up the timing. Yeah. Um, it might be a bit ambitious trying to hold a cap, like a cap cap, because one engagement and it's scrambled. Are we are we comfortable with like a two minute timing behind the strikers or the strikers behind the escort? So the strikers are behind the escort about two minutes. So you're yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is, is that not maybe too much? Mm, no, because I am See expecting I'm expecting enemies to be capping here, and 100 percent. If we all arrive here together then it will be a bit of a clusterfuck because the warhog will be engaged together with turkey with the with the uh, caps here and the other guys will go alone and then they will be intercepted but so i want to give you a few minutes to clear up the airspace and then at least warhog that, should be free. that's Vincent. fair but we lose sa as soon as we hit an engagement right it, yeah it's not nice clean caps it's the we figured this last week it's most effective if we just do one big push to make a hole 
Yeah, thinking of the most dangerous course of action is there's going to be an existing cap wall already up, and then the scramblers start happening once we engage at cap wall. If we delay the strikers getting up, that cap is going to have to deal with the scramblers immediately. If we have the strikers come in with that cap wall, they'll be able to get in before the enemy air is able to get airborne. Sure, but then we need to take Warhog away from you and you're alone fighting the cap wall. Because Warhog needs to escort the strikers. Look, I think Turkey should go in as well. I, I'm, yes, I'm, I happy, I'm happy doing it as, as is. We'll see mm -hmm. how it plays out. I, I'm just thinking capping right, but doing a traditional this. cap in this scenario is is maybe ambitious okay but imagine this the idea for you is not to actually do a cap the idea for you is to clear out the caps of the enemies because when we arrive 100 percent, there will be already enemies capping here so imagine the situation we all arrive now you guys get uh, entangled with the enemy caps the strikers go low level and then they get intercepted and you are still fighting behind yeah, I don't know if it's two minutes worth. We'll go with it. Let's let's see how it goes. Let's see how it plays out. We can we can refine it then next time. So this was my idea. I understand your point, but I think I just think we're going to hit an engagement. We're going to clear the airspace, and then we're going to have to turn back and then come back in, and then there's like two minutes for those guys to reach us. We can let's we see. can always we can always roll. Like, oh, what we can do is we can push without you. And then we'll have to self-escort, which will be challenging if you're a two-ship. Let's, let's, I'm, I'm playing ball. Let's, let's go. Let, we'll see how it works out. Okay. I'm Batman. Mm -hmm. I would like to change the attack direction for, for my flight. Is that okay? I want to come in a bit more along the runway, because I no. think we're going to have a hard time seeing the aircraft with the buildings in the way. No, because the timing will be off. I mean, you can do it. You can. What What do you mean? Change the attack direction? Like come in, like uh, you know, like from the south, basically. Just do like basically go the same way, and then like two miles from the airbase, do a hook left, and then uh, yeah, sure. We're on the runway heading. Yeah, this Great. you can do. This you can do. As long as you don't do yes. some shit like this, you fly here, and then you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep it within like ten seconds of the the plan timing. That's fine. That's fine. All okay, you gotta great. do is just lock the target to your point, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Because you'll you'll yeah. hit the target by the TOT. Yep. Got, yeah, yeah, I'm locking this 2.6 in the target, and that way it should keep all the timing correct. Just, just remember one thing, when you ingress we'll like this, you can pincer it two miles away, and you can just split like it was in the picture shown. Um, but if you divert too much towards the SAM sites, then you will get in range of the Shorads as well. So the yes. SAMs might not attack you because they will be busy with the strikers, but the Shorads will, so watch out for the Shorads. All right. Great. We still need the fourth guy in, in our orchestra. Just to this will be fine. Fourth one. Can I ask no, you? We, we oh. Poor Richie's all alone. Come on, get, get him a friend. <laughs> Can I just shoot, shoot the question? Uh, another question from Cap perspective: If we start to run into like an enemy package or Cap while we're at the holding point. Is the plan for the cap just to swat that out there and the rest of the package holds? Or are we going to be aborting the package to take out the enemy air? Okay, so I don't expect much enemy activity over the holding point because this is still sort of friendly area. Now, there might be some strike packages coming, but we ignore the strike packages. I mean, we are, we are striking each other. It's a total war, so there are massive strike packages going both ways. Um, I don't expect anything here, but it can happen that you will detect some strike packages going north towards Copenhagen, for example. Just ignore right. them. I mean, focus only on the stuff which can endanger the mission, and these will be floggers and fish beds. So if you see 16 limb sixes, just ignore them. Let them fly and bomb the ship. Crows. <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> on, the way, on the way back, you can engage anything that you want, but initially, please engage only the stuff which is a direct threat to the package, and not just go uh, or anything which is flying, because there will be a lot of stuff flying, for sure. Uh, I have another qu I have a question. So the, the TOTs that were fragged, they already account for the speed stuff that you were talking about, so the TOTs are accurate for all the flights, is that correct? Yes. Okay, cool. Good, good. Yeah, just confirm it. But you all should have um, black hole 
uh, 14.26 and then your target should be roughly three minutes later at 14.29. There might be a few seconds difference, uh, but it should be correct. Make them quick okay. But I'm thinking maybe we should attack from the from the north <laughs> and then come off west. Or actually, I guess if we come off if we come off north, then if there's any bandits there, we can just turn left and engage them. <laughs> that probably makes more sense. Okay, yeah. So let's. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward mission. If we just have this one target, it's pretty fucking easy. So I think we just uh, here. Let me check the loadout. Um. Okay, we're we're overweight. Yeah, we're, we're overloaded right now. They're gonna fix that. Only by 100 pounds, we could take off with that. Um. And also, what do you want to shoot it with? Do you want to do a lay down with snake eyes, or? Mm, I mean, if if the shorehead thing was real, I would. I think it would not be smart to do that. I think what makes more sense agree. is to use Mavericks. I agree. But I don't yeah. know if this, if that's real. I think what we do is let's do this. Let's. Each of us can uh, bring a Maverick. Maverick. Oh, we don't. <laughs> no, they're they're out. We don't have Mav Bs or anything. No, they're no, out. They're, they're, they're in the low, they're in the uh, tasking, but it says out. What about oh, rockets? Fuck. Okay. Oh, we got some rockets. We're, we're, we have rockets, which I, those probably are bugged and still don't work. You'd have to ask Batman. Yeah. Um, they were uh, bugged. We're yeah, out of B sixty one. That's what I would have taken. Do. Damn it. <laughs> They're they're bugs such that the rockets would do zero damage. Like it, you'd like impact the the. the oh, they used to be like the mini nukes. Yeah. They yeah. have no splash damage. That's yeah, they, right. they 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 took that and they they nerfed in the other way. Like it's bu bu busting the opposite way now. Okay. Well, I guess. Uh, right. Do you want to toss some clusters? Yeah, toss yeah, the clusters or tossing Mark eighty threes would be interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah, toss. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Why would you take a Mark 83 when you, when you could take, take a Mark 84? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to tossing a pair of 84s. Jet, but, yeah. yeah. So, did only the Navy use 83s? No, the Air Force used to. They just took yeah, it out of their inventory for logistics yeah, reasons. <laughs> Which goes back to the same question. <laughs> I guess we're, what, Poland, too, so... Or, uh... Uh, Netherlands. Thank you. Yeah, I just um, saw the flag on the tail. And bad around us. Poland in 81. <laughs> so my, Poland. my my play would be, I think we, I think it would be good to bring, I would probably just do a, a, a pop-up CBU attack is probably what I would do on this, but I think it is dangerous as fuck. If there's really 16s there, which there appears to be, that's, they're fucking deadly front aspect. They can just kill us. Yeah. So I mean, there's four of us. We can toss bombs too, and if some of us miss, then yeah, we could toss bombs. I think probably yeah. These these are the 16s or the cold launch ones, right? So you don't even see the launch on these ones. I don't yeah. think. <sighs> For fuck's sake, man! That's dangerous shit on there. That's ridiculous, but in '81 too. But <laughs> the Igloo was entered introduced in '81, but uh... really. Yes, but I mean, how many could they have by then? You know, all right, all right. Let's figure, let, let's figure this shit out. So I think I think what we do is let's go. I think the CBU should also be helpful against the aircraft if we're gonna do that as a secondary. Yeah. Um, I would say, fucking four pairs of CBUs will probably kill the site and uh, don't come back. All right. How about this? Who who wants to toss? Because if you want to toss, we could we could probably just do both. It's fine, I think. So who wants to do a toss? I don't care. Do you have a preference? I, uh, no, I'd... I don't care. I mean, toss would make less likely to die, but uh, I don't care. So toss is a good way to die? The toss is less likely to die. Less likely to die? attack seems like a good way to die against the 16s. Yeah. And I mean, we, we, could do, but... we, we could do lay down with, with Mark 82 airs. That is another option, is we could just scream by and do that shit. Um, fuck, man, I don't know how to hit this fucking target. This is a pain in the dick. There's no safe way... Okay, basically, I'm just going to admit this. There's no safe way to hit this target. So I think whatever we what, do... What, what about lofting, though? Shouldn't that be a safe... Should we be able to loft from five miles? Yeah, but, dude, these aren't JDAMs, so it's like the chance of it hitting exactly where it should be is low. Mm. That's why I think... Yeah, it's really... but it's BMS splash damage. Surely if we throw eight of them... Some of them will land. Okay, well, if we're going to do that, now. let's do... Let's do, 
Let's do Tom, it. Now if there's a bug in the, the fire control, Raz, they yeah, all land. Okay, really I, I haven't tried that a lot. It used to work really well. Uh, yeah. It used to not take a lot of skill. Yeah. But I have no idea if that's changed, so maybe it's better. All right, let's do this. So. Let's try it. Let's try it. So let's – and I think we should do – if we're going to do it, um, why not do fucking CBUs? Um, sure. Yeah, agree, to, agree on that. Yeah. Okay, so I think the 58 is a like ICM mix, I think. Um, let me see. Oh, God only knows how these are modeled, but – Yeah. Okay, literally yeah, – 50... The fifty-eight is the um uh the incendiary one. Okay, what and what's the fifty-two? Is that the ICM one? Yeah, that's like your old style canister. I don't know if it's ICM. It might be just like big golf ball bomblets, but yeah, that's general purpose, I think. Okay, I think we Good. go with that then. Let's CB fifty-two then. Um, and then yeah, and I guess like the problem is we can't really bring four of them because we'd be overweight. I think we just go uh, two each. Uh, Pairs is the, fine. The, the BLU-63 is 5 gram titanium pelletants combined with high explosives. Which one is that? The 52 one? No, that's the 58. Okay, it's that's what I thought. The 52, the 52 is anti-personnel anti -personnel and anti-vehicle, anti anti yeah. All right, let's, the 58 is anti-personnel and flammable targets. Okay, let's do 52. And then I'll give us just a pair, which isn't much, but that's what we'll roll with. I think the jammer will keep because the jammer is actually pretty effective against shitty Sam's. Yeah. Um, um, all right, cool. So loadout's going to be two fifty-two Bravos, uh, four aim nines, two tanks, and a center line. And let's come up with a game plan to kill this thing. I'm just going to check his IP to see if that makes sense. Give me a second. Um, all right. So it's the IP is. Bearing one two zero from the to the target, and then if we're gonna do that, I think we should come up. I, that's not a terrible IP. I think that's a decent IP. I think we they're unlikely. Well, the only downside to that is there's a road there. Um, but I guess hmm. I, I am tempted to come in from the north. I think if we come in from the north, then it's very unlikely there's gonna be any mud on that island. And, yeah. we, and we, if we come off right, the only downside of coming off right is that we could be flying into scrambling aircraft. That's an advantage. Maybe, yeah. but the, um, kind of no, yeah. Well, don't we kind of know on a mode <laughs> switch? <laughs> but you, but These we, Germans hate this one switch. But we need to escape out <laughs> afterwards. We don't. Uh, I'm also going to set steer. I'm going to set Ooh. steer seven, which will be where we <laughs> escape to. Okay. Um, yeah, I think... I mean, this isn't, this isn't like modern times where you're going to have, you know, flinkers burning up and launching long sticks at you. You'll see anything coming from a long way away. Well, they, they're, but there's fox bats as well. Like, they didn't even brief that, to, but to me, that's the one thing you need to brief, because they are really dangerous in this. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll go over that at the end Just of the brief. So they're upon you. So, look, I... Mach two. So, what do you think? Do you think we should come in from the north, then? As an IP? Um... Doesn't really matter. I think you've, maybe uh, come in the way or ha attack heading and come off left. Is that what you want to do? You've you've moved uh, the the push point. I didn't move the push point. I just moved the IP. Oh no! You, no, it's never mind. That's the yeah. So I think um, I'm illiterate. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, let, let's just keep this pre-brief. Let's keep it pre-brief. So we're, we'll attack on this heading. We'll come off north, float us to your seven, and then if we have to, we can we have reattack. Um, but otherwise we'll rejoin us tier 7 and then we'll attack the airbase. So let's go over the actual game plan for the attack. So I think what we do is um, we'll do two ships. Uh, we'll do a two ship. Uh, let's do a two ship and five mile trail then two ship. Um, and I think that should allow us to or maybe we do like a 10 mile trail even. But I think if we do a two ship and then a five or a 10 mile trail and then a two ship we sh me and Abe should be able to we should be able to double tap the fan song. IBC check. And then um, you, you guys should be able to BDA. BDA, I, yeah. And then if you if it's negative BDA, then you should be able to just uh, reattack it. Are you it. playing to drop singles or in pair? Singles. B both of us will drop a single. Okay. Makes sense. Um, and I, I think, think you're gonna toss singles. Okay. Yeah, and then I think we offset laterally um, so that there's a spread, and then we, um, and then we flow north.
Within the element offset laterally? Yeah. Okay. And then I think uh, flow I'm north. dropping on a PPT? I'm, or I mean on a plan point? Um, or DTOS? I was thinking we would... Well, or I, FCR. Should be obvious what the fan song signature is. I, I don't think we should drop on FCR. I would either do DTOS or pre-planned. Okay. I think pre-planned should be fine. Thoughts? Pre-planned yeah, should probably be fine. fine. I yeah. mean, your GPS doesn't drift in 81, so... <laughs> So it's just it's such a short hop you wouldn't really deal with INS drift I don't think that much it's only a hundred miles. Uh, when you take off you lean like half a mile drift probably. So like I think you have to overestimate mile. 80s gyroscopes, but yeah. So what, do, what we what we could do a detos I mean that's fine but then we we could do a detos I guess. Yeah. You want to do a detos? It'll make it harder. Um, nah I don't I don't know I don't whatever. Let's, let's just do a steer point. So I'm, I'm going to do... Yeah, so make make the fan song. Go ahead. Yeah, we can always confirm with the FCR um, that it looks right. They're okay. waiting on us. All right, let's do that. So we'll make the fan song steer 90. Pair, pair release. You guys are in trail, like a far trail, BDA. And then flow north. So you want us to like... Uh, so you know or pair release, I'm sorry. No, we're going to drop one each. And then we're going to flow north. One, one each. Well, me and you are one each. We flow north. They BDA, and then if the BDA is negative, they attack. And then w if they're BDA, and then we'll come in. If they're BDA, if we're if it's still negative BDA, we're gonna do a pop up attack. And, and how do you want us to BDA? Just like come up to like yeah, a couple just, thousand feet yeah, of steer point and take a peek. Yeah, just pop up and and look for burning in the steer point, uh, and it should be and and also it will be radar negative if it's if it's dead. Yeah. Yeah, it should be we should be visual. Um, and then we'll yeah. And then the last thing we'll do is if we if the attack is complete, we'll rejoin a steer seven, and then we'll just come in as a four ship, sweep the airbase, and start attacking anything that's left on the airbase. If there's no aircraft on the ramp, we'll drop bombs on fuel fuel tanks and shit like that, and then egress north. Right. What's your favorite burst altitude? Uh, isn't it isn't it like Simon? I mean, I was just trying to figure out how to work hard. Charlie, in hold, short runway zero eight. But I mean, you know, don't you ever like set it to a different target sometimes? No, maybe I should. Nightwing, are you clear? I'll do it for like an SA-10 or sometimes an SA-2. Okay, Muller one's taxi. Like what? Manually pick your highest prior threat? Yeah, because like sometimes it'll pick my radar. Ah, uh, we're taxi. Yeah, I wanted to brief air to air shit, so hopefully we'll have time to do that while we're waiting. Stone cat three, Roger. I tell like the president. Stone cat three, Roger. Stone cat three, one, text. Oh, sorry, I was on sitting eight. Thought I was off at one. Say again? Did we? Uh, I might have blocked someone. Uh, did we say something about air to air? I'm confused. No. Just by taxi order, we should talk about air to air. Uh, Raz, your six hour. Uh, I'm 79 Yank. Oh, that's me. I'm dumb. Yeah, so we'll do a uh, four ship departure. Uh, give a couple seconds between each call sign to roll. Take an active right. Uh, just rejoin into a wing trail wing with a couple miles separation, and then we'll go the long uh, trail once we're actually uh, p past the IP. Okay. 
or past the uh, push point. Stone Cat three, taxi Charlie, then hold short runway zero eight. Be drawing. We're set. Rolling. She's rolling. Um, let's go ahead and check right for steer two. And, uh, fence end, leads fence one, one, five. Great question. Hey, well, they're just farther, one panel farther back. Yeah, but it's stuck in normal, so it doesn't off. So I think we want our jammer to be in mode two. Yes. And we'll just use it when we get engaged. probably want that. Alright, push uniform six. Checking in on package. Great. Mauler, four good chips. 
Turkey has four good ships, uh, currently working on some radio difficulties with two and four, but continuing as far to hold point. Okay, reference, uh, steer three. All right, so I'm going to go over some air-to-air -air shit. Uh, the only thing we need to brief, really, is how to deal with the fox bats. So if we get engaged by fox bats, um, we're going to split into elements and bracket them. Um, we're going to have one element drag the fox bats and then have the other element slash into them. But we can't... No no, no uh, front-on engagement to those guys. They'll fucking kill you. Um... And if we can bring them down low, that's also a good strategy as well. Uh, package Warhawk 4, Marshall. Also, the uh, Apex, the other factor is like the, the flogger front aspect, the Apex. So that that is a, we should have the same range as them with the heaters. Um, if we have our jammer on, it should be roughly the same distance break. Um, so for those, we can just go head on, but, um, break. For that one, we can go head on normally, but, um, make sure the jammer's on, otherwise they're gonna shoot you. And the, the apex is deadlier than the sparrow. UHF-6 is 243 decimal 7. Two four three decimal seven. Hey, Wax, one four picture. One one magic one picture clear. Don't cut head visual on Turkey. Ray, are you also getting really terrible buffeting all of a sudden? Negative. Yeah, I wonder if it's jet lake nonsense. For uniform check. Traffic overhead left. Got you, Ford, got you. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hang out here for about two minutes before we depart. I uh, will just do a right hand orbit um, and try to stay around Angels two five. Right hand turn now. Package roll 
Net week six, good on TRT. Muller. Turkey gun. Turkey good. More hot. Excellent, so we keep the uh, original TRT. Here for now. Alright, we'll get strung out about five miles behind you too. You can you can stay close for now because we might be engaged air to air. We'll just once we start going NOE, that's when you'll pick that up. Yeah. And you can just extend north and then come in behind us. I think it's highly likely that we get bounced uh, before we get to the target. And if we do get bounced on the way to the target, we're going to just uh, engage them low and then slash out north. Probably floggers. My experience GCIing this campaign 
it was. Lots of floggers, a couple fish beds, rare fox bat. Yeah. Very, very heavy striker. Like, it was like 7 out of, or 8 out of 10 planes as a striker. Alright, uh, we're going to extend north a bit to bleed off some speed. Uh, cross day again, step on. Extending north. Turkey 6, Mauler, understand you're committed. Negative, not at this time. It was 23. Yeah. Right. Yeah, j j jam. Jam and uh, hard right. Mauler is uh, engaged, uh, egressing west. Copy. Turkey going to be engaged. Clear. Cross some blind passing under you, I think. Uh, flow 290, reference uh, steer 3. Uh, jammer on and uh, just full burn, reference steer 3. I'm at Angels 2 3 plus 5. In front of you guys now. Uh, smoke on. Yeah, visual. Uh, elements in between us. Turkey, uh, understand you're in, you're committed, those bandits. Hey, sir, committed on PP5, 31, 32, 13,000, make 10 Okay, uh, ch check right, uh, for a uh, disregard. Yeah, check right for steer 4. It's a four mile trail. Just try to catch up. Mm, we're about two minutes behind Carrot. Let's uh let's push it up. Natwing six. Hard right to steer two, four. Three one seven twenty eight. Angels eighteen. Eleven miles off enough. Oh, holy shit, there's a lot of bandits up ahead. Six some, six some are fitters, but yeah. Turkey 1 needs to make three of bulls. 3285. I have a 15,000 pot. Alright, got you all visual again. Let's go in the burn for a couple seconds. 
Package Falcon 3 Rolex Class 2. There you go. Okay, Rolex Plus 2. Second Rolex. Rolex Class 2. Copy Rolex Class 2. Flowing code. Oh, is there not a way to fucking Rolex on this thing? There is. Oh, never mind. I'm being stupid. All right, we're good. Four hundred thousand. All friendlies off to our left. Uh, hi. Roger. Uh, let's burn again. We should get, we're still about a minute behind. Can you make black hole at 1428? Uh, Warhawk, A4. Buddy Spike, Buddy Spike, F16. Let's go anyway. Okay. Warhawk inbound black hole. And we'll just we'll just nose down to pick up some speed. That should get us back on carrot. Nightwing, 50 seconds to IP. All right, let's hey, go down. Five, Jammer on. Zero, one, five. Two, five zero seconds. Okay, package roll leg last three. Oh, for fuck's sake! Sorry, abort that. Come up, back up, and... Okay, Mauler, understand it. Rolex plus three again. Hey, firm, that will be 1429. 1429 for what? The push point? Black hole. Hey, firm. Understood. Okay, uh, two, are you still vigil? Two, vigil. Okay, check right. We're going to return to altitude, and we're going to... Do a spin. I'm showing only like 30 seconds to the push time. Okay. Um, I'll just try to. We're, we're two minutes ahead right now. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. I think he meant Rolex plus one to a total of three. That's what he meant for sure. Yeah, but the push point says ETA 1429, and we're. Okay, I think you're right. Actually, we should push. Nails 23, left 10. T two, you visual? Two visual. Okay. Um, Mahler, Mahler status group uh, 338 one for 1 3, 10,000. Okay, we're committed on these guys. Two's targeted, 2,000. Don't cut black hole. The guy's cold? Negative. Bullseye, uh, three, two, three for one, six. I have the lead guy. Um, you target trail there, uh, Abe. Two. You targeted trail. That way, six request D-Lounge, make 23 through Mauler, commit 318 for one, eight, 1,000. Fox 2, 311 for 2 0, 1000. Flare, flare, make 23 fired. Fox 2, at 2000. Fox 2, at 2000. To the gauge, offensive. Fox 2. Fox 2. 
Is that you? Uh, yeah, I'm coming up. We got a left turn low on the deck. Careful, flare, 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 flare. Uh, uh, three clear, six available. You're clear. Okay, um... Hey, ray gun load, purple. Two, I think I'm with you, you're, you're uh, low, slicing left. Okay, I'm, I'm to your guys left nine. Uh, blind on lead. I uh, rejoined sir four. So we're only four. We're only four miles from there. Rejoin steer four. Was there another group merged offensive? Yeah. It takes us two minutes to target. Uh, we're gonna have. On the deck. Hold on. Nail twenty three. Right three. Hey, a uh, molar is engaged over the push point and unable to push. Hey, yeah. Four blind. Oops. Rejoin steer four, visual. Yeah, that's me. Smoke, right hand turn, one, angels one. No, we're not going to abort. We're going to go for the IP. Ray gun. Multiple bandits over target. Read that's them. I'm uh, behind you a mile. Roger, I'm with one and two. Warhog and Turkey requesting D loud at Black Hole. Uh, reference CIP, reference zero five. Uh, MiG 23 is right uh, two o'clock. Uh, three, are you able to engage them? Right one o'clock, uh, 1,305 for four. Looking. Three, two, nine, or five for seven now. Over there, I just rev tally that area. There's going down. Okay, two, two, follow me in. Two, follow me in. I'm, I'm engaged. Two. Uh, three, are you contact? Yeah. Three, you're, 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 uh, that's your target. I'm, I got the trail. I got two, two, uh, two. Kill anyone. Kill the left guy if you can. I'm, I'm on the trail. The guy who's in a left slicing turn right now. I only see vipers. No, there's there's two floggers over there. I, I've got a guy who's going to hurt him. Get, on the left. get the left one. Get the left one, Abe. Two. Okay, le left guy's dead. Missile high guy. Shit crap is eight. Yeah, I'm I'm still alive. Fox two. Nightwing six back at black hole. That's not gonna connect, I'm down one missile. Sort of clearing guy. Who, who's in burner right now? No, is that three? Is that you on his six? Okay, they're all, they're all dead. Still defending. Oh, so am I. Still defending a flogger. I'm also defending. Clear my six of Abel. Okay, Turkey, you have to go low level and come with us. Team Good Warhug is dead. Turkey, copy on. Two status. Turkey, proceed to Black Two is defending the flogger. Retrograde towards Black Wall. Three, four status. Three's up. Four, you got a flogger high on you.
Okay, guys, reference, um, uh, reference to your four. Burn, burn towards steer four, um, if able. Two is over steer four. Right package, uh, don't get any text from Mahler. Stamp! Break, break, break. Mauler's fine. We're engaged. Yeah, Mauler, go back to uh, Blackbird. Unable. Guys, uh, can you clear my six? I have a Nails 23. I think I'm the, I think I'm the, uh, easternmost guy right now. Nails 23 on Azimuth, um, like, it's like... It's like, uh, zero, six, zero. Okay. I think he's down low chasing me. Okay, I'm in, I'm in hot from steer four. Two, two say bullseye. Bandit. Bandit bullseye. Contact. Uh, Muller's engaged three two zero for one zero twenty one thousand. Cold. He's dragging towards um tin pot. Yeah, there's friendly coming in behind. He's got uh, bandit coming in behind him. Okay, three, four, are you visual each other? Smaller, so can, uh, disengage. Four, eight, firm, visual, one, two, three. Hey, uh, that, that band is turning in again, Abe. Copy. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Three, kill, uh, three, four, kill, three, two, six for eight, uh, cover, cover, uh, for two. Roger, I'm I'm in hot from the west. Break flare, break flare, break flare. Okay, he's 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 up to your high, right? Uh, seven o'clock. Are you? Yeah, right, two o'clock. Abe, he's now your six o'clock low, uh, egressing from you. Cold. He's he's cold. Your left nine now, co out. Uh, uh. uh we'll have to Sam, Sam from uh, Bricktop. Sam tracking south from Bricktop. Okay, guys, we gotta. Let's try to hit this target. I think we have a gap. Uh, nail 23, target. Like, if the scene, 1000. But he's fine. That's his head tool guy, 2980. Nail 23, target. Now he's blocked. Okay, Flow IP. Flow IP, I think we're clear for now. God, I say two's coming in here. I uh, see that. Two's flow IP, sorry. One minute. More 23 is entering the fight. I'm IP inbound now. 30 seconds to target. Target 
Kelly Blogger up emerged on my right three o'clock, five miles. I'm offensive, that guy. Fox. Fox 2. Is that the guy rising? Hey, for me, he's vertical, he's flaring, or he's down. That's what I think it. Good splash. Okay, I'm out of everything. Cross, tell me when you're in. So now I'm, I'm in hot now, in hot. One away. Choose again, seven miles. One away on the fan song. Sam, Sam two. Two status target. Into the pump. Roger. Not like six off target. Strike unsuccessful. Get away. Use away. Not like six down to one ship RTB. Sam two. And she's naked off. Down cut three off target. Also unsuccessful. Okay, target splashed. Target splashed. Uh, hey, Bricktop is dead. We have bombs. We can attack Tin Pot. Attack Melodrama instead. Roger. Jets are dead. Runway still up. Okay, guys. Reference, uh, rejoin Steer 7. Three four status. Rejoining you, 4,000 guns. What, four got hit? Four's the three. Okay, re reference tier seven. Hit. We're gonna go attack Melodrama. One from two, say. F-15's on the deck, watch out for those. Say again. Say angels. Uh, angels, uh, I'm at Cherub's 5, I think I'm to your right 4 o'clock. Uh, be blind, I'm left turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm visual you, 6 o'clock now, low, uh, very low. Smoke's on, left hand turn. Visual, rejoining. Okay, 3 4 coming over your top, rejoining. Roger, okay, reference um, melodrama. Let's reference, let's go up altitude and reference Melodrama. Let's, uh, climb. Hey, understand Tin Pot is alive. Hey, fair. But go for Melodrama. That's the primary target. Kill the runway. Yeah, understood. We're trying to do it and not die. Hey, uh, three and four, I want you guys to target, um, the other SA2. Four, you take tech lead. I'm out of bounds. Four. Are you guys able to? Are you guys able to do that? Four able. Is overhead to deal with any scramblers if needed. Just as a heads up. Okay. Hey, hey, two. Are you visual? Two settled. Okay, let's check left. I want to go through that cloud bank and then I want to go up from the top left. We'll do like a high yo-yo attack, high key attack. Sorry, uh, we're attacking the runway. We're gonna attack aircraft. Apparently, uh, we're doing. We're gonna do a high key attack. So check uh, left. Let's climb to like fifteen thousand. I'm in the burn right now. Four get low. Apparently these ships can shoot us. Four. Turkey is only finding ground strikers. I don't know where those ships are, though, to be honest. Break, break. Uh, Moeller is IP inbound melodrama. I'm like fuel 3.7. 3. Understood. Two, we're going to... Hook left around that cloud bank there to the left. Two. You still have one bomb too, right? If 
Okay, if you don't see any uh, aircraft and you see fuel tanks, you can hit those two. I got mud, mud four, left four, le uh, left two, or left ten. Come right, come right. Reference. Re reference melodrama uh, in in hot now. Hey, uh. I don't see anything yet. Fours in two hot. From the north. Two's blind. Dude, it's fine. Just focus on the strike. Uh, but but don't get yourself killed. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I'm actually. I'm off dry to the uh, right. Okay, off with you. No joy on any bandits. Same. Let's see if we can see him from the north, or from the west rather. Lead to heading. Uh, two one zero. Okay. Okay, Abe. You see those? Uh, you see those? You see that burning fire on the airbase? Uh, your target is the POL just to the side of it, uh, and you're clear to engage. Uh, cleared hot. Four attack complete. Good effect. Good. Uh, two. I'm covered. Uh, go ahead. Uh, defending Singer 4. Defending another Singer 4. Okay, I'm running out north. You have smoke on, or is that a fan? Uh, I don't know. I uh, smoke's off now. I'm running out three two zero. Center four three ninety left go. Very close. Just uh, scram north too. Okay, uh, Mauler one is egressing back to the uh, whole point. Buddy Spike Eagle three two six twenty five climbing through forty thousand. Hey, 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 please, hey, please cover us on the way out. Cover Muller on the way out. Turkey copies. We're roughly 10 miles ahead of you north. We'll orbit black hole. Rejoin. Able to do it. Uh, reference black hole, guys. Yeah. I'm off towards black hole. Uh, rejoin uh, Angels 2-2. Two, two. Muller 1, Buddy Spike, zero, uh, 319 for 1, 2, Angels 2-2. Two, two. Can I get a single fighter in my climb to stay low? Okay, no worries. That's fine. Okay, second element established black hall, Angels 18. Hey, 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 Tally Sam tracking east. I think it's SA5. Roger, I'm getting low. Should be able to line up at it. Can't make it now. Two break. Two break. Break it. I see the family back there. No factor. Okay. 
Where'd you go, Bree? Uh, I'm uh, de still heading 298. For fuck's sake. Blackwall. I'm defending Singer 5 now. Yeah, egress. Egress low. Roger, I'm Cherub's uh, 5 by Black Hole, defending Sam 5. I think I see the Sam descending. You still, uh, are you still spiked? Uh, negative, I'm clean. Roger. Yeah, Sam's going ballistic into the ocean. Alright. If your feet dry, you should be safe. I'm, I'm over Black Hole now, I'm going to remain uh, nap of the Earth until... I'm remain nap of the Earth till steer 8. Dude, that SA4 gave me a fucking heart attack, dude. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Especially in this fucking lighting. Mahler, turkey. Yeah, with a cloud. Mahler, say again. Say status. Uh, Mahler's defending Singer 5 to the southeast. We're over Black Hall, NOE, and uh, egressing. Copy that. Turkey will stay to cover your egress. Okay, I'm gonna climb again. See your bullseye, uh, uh Bullseye 311 for 3 3. Um, Angels 3. Uh, 2 9, I got plenty. 6 1 off deck, hope push your approach. I don't know if you guys saw it, but every time you popped, there were a bunch of shore eyed blooms. Oh, yeah. Phone cat status. Dude, that was fucking awesome, dude. I think my bomb hit it, hit it on the first pass, I think. It looked like it. Yeah, it looked good. I didn't have a precision for that one of the south. I did what uh, Abe suggested and just picked what I thought was it based on the radar fruit. And then uh, did 500 foot spacing. Uh. Smaller turkey, say south. Uh, one is tied, three zero three for five four, tw Angels two seven. Yeah, that's three. Small is out passing steer A, we're good clean, thank you. Copy that, turkey, uh, Miller time, RTB. Okay, yeah, so, just guys, just, uh, just RTB, don't rejoin. We're about, uh, t 11 miles behind you. We're hauling this pushing approach. Dude, you see those fat fucking eagles swoop in? In the middle of all the foggers and vipers spinning around. There's so many cool elements in this mission. The VIT was both easier and harder at the same time. It was nearly impossible until they rolled, and then you could tell perfectly with an amazing contrast profile. Yeah, I have way more trouble figuring out whether it's a fog or a viper on side aspect, and then they roll out and you see the big pointy swing wings. I did a couple of VITs where I'm like, oh, that's camouflage, kill it. The, the 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 thing that gives it away is the dual flaring. Higher skill means more flares. Yep. Well, I mean, they also have a ton of flares, so... <laughs> I still have 12 left. That's 12 more than I expected. Dude, someone yelled flare, like, twice, and I dumped uh, half of my flares in both of those engagements. I, didn't, I couldn't tell who was who in the zoo, but there were foggers just like sidling up and shooting everything they had. Yeah, I saw a flogger shoot right on, on a like, friendly close, so I yelled out flare. It wasn't on you, though. I yelled it on you for There was one time when you were rejoining me, three, and I thought you were a flogger, and you just kept pulling your nose on me. We spoke together pretty well in that fucking zoo. Yeah, uh, 
actually super useful. I found you twice using it. Yeah. Tying Windman is uh, invaluable in this shit. This is like the most annoying lighting s setup as well. The night. Like where you have the, the diurnal turnover is the, by far the most annoying. Yeah, night sucks, but this one's annoying too because I couldn't really see where the fucking ground was, dude. Like, because I was doing that toss, and I was, you know, end getting shot at. Huh. Ah. AWACS is down. All the F4s are friendly, right? Yeah. Yes. Unless Egypt has joined the fight. <laughs> they joined the, the Warsaw Pact. I don't know, North Korea has just joined into Ukraine, right? So. Yeah. This is a good mission, guys. That first, uh, verbal entry, the allows is clean. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the tape. I don't know about that, I was dragged, I dragged a flogger for like 25, 30 miles. No, but that was, that was good, because I saw that guy when he, when he reversed on you. And then I had, I had Tally visual, um, but he ended up getting splashed by someone else. Uh. So like, you passed him and he was to your, like, left 9 o'clock and then you did the, this roll and then he was like to your left 10 o'clock. I think I think he crossed. I think you're thinking about me, Chris. I think the one that was chasing Bobby crossed me, and then I killed him in a in a turn. It could have been. We'll see in the tape. Pretty sure. I also think we killed like a shitload of bandits. I I think it was like I think the whole western or the sorry the eastern side was basically us. I'm pretty sure all maybe one of my missiles. Yeah, one of my missiles connected for sure. I got some sort of crazy down. Like I do Fox too, and then I see this viper pull up from below my nose, right on the guy's thing. Raz stole my second kill with his last missile. I'm sorry. He just spoke up first, so I saved it. I did a, I did a like a front aspect uh, snapshot with a gun, and I think I killed this vlogger. I good. I didn't see him where he went. Yeah, there was so much going on, as soon as one of my missiles connected, I just target switched out. <laughs> Alright, Bree, let's push approach. Take a 60, push one. Yeah, so the SOP that they're doing now is it's basically you, you do approach just to get the active runway, then you switch to tower, and then you stay on that. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to tower there. Drop the nose, set up for like a five mile initial if I can do it. 
you, man. I'm idle. Fours are in. I'm shooting for that bright spot, and then we'll come hard right. See them to our right one o'clock, Bobby. Oh fuck. Can you guys hear me? I can now. Uh are we almost over the field? Uh yeah, we're about twenty miles. So I'm going I see it off to our right. I'm going idle throttle and uh hook around the zero it's zero eight. Idle throttle initial. We're still real close. Okay. Got to do it. Got to do it live. There's no one talking on tower. Tower, uh, Mauler 3, 2 miles final, 1 mile final. Mauler 4, go ahead. Mauler 1 is in the break. Let's do 
Fred, I can hear a lot of this visual. Yeah, you're good. Just just focus on landing. If it, if you lose visual, that's fine. Okay, uh, Muller one, uh, Muller one's on the perch. Uh, visual 3, he's off your left, turning. Yeah, Visual. Uh, sorry, I was talking on Uniform 3. It's a wide pattern. Just following the guy in front of me. Smaller 4, turning left base when he's right. Small Earth, um, one final runway eight zero. It's fucking lighting, dude. Can't see shit, Captain. I'm shutting her down, GG. Bluebell, 6-2 on final. Uh, Eagles will leave. Tarkev leaves 30 seconds after that. And then leaves a minute after that. And that's it. And we make one hole and we just we just go. There's 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 no stopping. You just you just go. Um, tar uh, the deed guys or the strike guys ended up probably two minutes behind and it felt a bit long the eagles made a hole and then we were waiting on the strike uh, but they missed the timing he, it was it, the, the lead missed, uh, uh, stuffed the timing but I think just in my opinion I think trying to aim for a cap is 
unsustainable because that first engagement it's scrambled and then it takes a minute to reset you just need to build some separation and then just 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 kill everything in front of you yeah but the the two minute rolex wasn't it enough for you guys to reset because it was two minutes extra uh yes i was i was happy that i was on time um, and then there was a furball my one o'clock low because somebody was ahead. So mm. the the Rolex worked for me. It it, it was good. The, I saw the Eagles. The Eagles pushed ahead and they got dragged slightly left. And I was, it was in the right place, at the right time from my point of view. Uh, yeah, okay. it's tricky, man. It's fun. But it's it's tricky. I think that was yeah. a real goat rope. <laughs> I think we need to make sure that the escort is in front of the strikers because otherwise. It's impossible to figure out where people are. So before we reach the push point, the escort has to be in front. And then I guess we can push with the escort like a hammer in the front, plowing through and uh, picking up all the... Basically you know, as a sweep almost? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we were on our way to, what was it, Blackhorn? And uh, <laughs> yeah, like, there were fogger, or, uh, yeah, foggers like 10 miles off our nose. And Doesn't like, it defeat uh, the point of the, the, the push point, though? Maybe you just have the sweeps push point in front of the strikes push point, and everyone pushes in their package formation? Yeah, but you, you still have to make sure that people are where you think that they are, and it's tricky if you don't have any yeah. you know, data link or link 16 or so whatever. I, I said this before we jumped in the channel, but uh, from my point of view, as soon as you know there are friendies ahead of you, your picture is stuffed up. If you see all those little X's and, you know, okay, you're going in, okay, the Eagles are there, the Strikers are behind me, everything in front of you is baddie. But as soon as you know, like, okay, Mauler's ahead of me, whatever the call sign is, and like, oh, shit, okay, now I really have to. It sucks if you're in the back of the package, but if you've only got one or two flights in front of you, you can say, oh, there's to be eight friendlies in front of me. I count eight X's, okay? Pretty easy to tell. <laughs> you sure, dude. Well, <laughs> until the furball starts. Or... Until the furball starts. Yeah, the, but the furball is much less of a factor for the strikers. It's The things that really scare me are the the really long lines on the FCR coming towards me. Like, those, <laughs> you know, that, those are floggers that are unengaged. But once they start turning and burning with a sweep flight or whatever, then it's like, okay, um, you know, it's the AI. They still could just like, randomly switch off and shoot a missile at you instead of, you know, defending the guy on their six. But at least they're, you know, at least they're targeted and, do, and have something to worry about. It's fun, though. It's, it's, this, is the, this is the hardest way to play BMS, and it's awesome. Is, well, you, the best way no, to play, play BMS? The only way to I'd argue this. yes, it's the best way. It's, uh, <laughs> I was disappointed, I was sad that there were no motivational posters on our airbase. So I guess there were some bases that have them. There were? No, yeah. not where on, where not, were you from? No, they were in Skrits Troop, so not... Uh, not yeah, they're, they're spread around. Yeah. They are in various places. We, we have and, one on our base. <laughs> yes. And at some point, you need to guys fly from the red air bases. You might <laughs> yeah, yeah you there. do. Some people are going to be so angry, but it's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll probably see it on the recon screen. If we get into some like deep ochres, then you'll probably see the billboards of the red on the recon screens. Guys, admit without beating, did anyone set a PPT on a fan song? Yeah. Uh, yes, but not the one I killed. There's, there's, uh, this won't be possible anymore. We'll do something about this in the next release. Um, so, um, I'm still waiting for Eagle, okay. Can you actually... Like, what do you do about that? Um, when you set the static sounds to mobile, they get unspotted. Hmm. Because when they are set to static, they're always spotted. Always. I mean, you don't need AWACS or anything. All over the map, you will see every SA2, SA3, and SA5. And since they are assigned to their objective, they will not move. All right, I will shut down the server. And in the meantime, let's do a quick debrief. Uh, Wait, let's start we with need to do that with the cam save, eh? Unspot all those bastards. Sorry, carry on. No, I, I cannot unspot them. 
in the camps. Eh? Oh, really? No. If they're set to static, you, the unspotting doesn't work. The spotting, unspotting only works on mobile units. And this is not. Cool, Nightwing. Yeah, apologies. Carry on, debrief. Nightwing 6. Three ship Oka. So uh, we went in. Uh, we got to Black Hall more or less on time. Uh, we uh, we proceeded. Then we uh, we saw a uh, we saw a bunch of MIGs in front of us. We engaged one of them, shot a fox to kill them. Got the call to retrograde. Went back retrograde. Uh, after a while, we went back in. Overwhelming air picture. Went back cold, defensive. Went back in. Got caught off again. Went back to steer four. Hung around there for a bit. Then we finally uh, oh. oh and uh, on the la last uh, turnout, we lost uh, number two to a Manfred from an Osa. So down, now we're down to a two ship. So one and three go in on the uh, the push call. We flow in. Uh, we attack as briefed from the uh, southwest. We roll in on the runway. Uh, I spot two MIGs on the ramp. Drop my six uh, Mark 82 airs on them. They die. Uh, number three is uh, one and a half miles behind me, which, uh, yeah, it turned out to be too little because uh, he, he rolls in over the runway about to drop his, and then apparently it looks like on the SMI his engine fallen out from the uh, debris in the debris cloud, and he crashed. So debriefing point there. Either more altitude or more spacing uh, or lofting bombs because uh, the way I briefed it was not, not good. It led to him falling out, so bad on me. Uh, after that, yeah, down to one ship, uh, went RTB alone, and landed. So number two and three both did, did a good job for what it was worth, but uh, <laughs> neither of them got to do their attack due to circumstances, and as a whole, our timing was pretty good the whole way through, but uh, we were, I think, 40, 30 or 40 seconds late on the first Rolex, so it had to be delayed because of us. So that was not good. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much Nightwing. So uh, number three left too. Anything to add? Nothing. I had a good flight. Uh, enjoyed the lead. The flight made sense. Uh, what happened with uh, with uh, SA fourteen um, was uh, unavoidable. That's it. Thank you. Okay, that's uh, Nightwing. Mauler. Um, go, ahead, go for Mauler. The mission of Mauler. Oop. Sorry, Hello. I was muted. Mauler. Um, the mission of Mauler to kill um, Bricktop. So uh, we had a game plan, which was um, go out there, loft uh, CBU-52, um, 58, I think it was. Loft the CBU-58. Um, and then have the element and trail to do BDA and then attack if we didn't uh, get good effect on target. And then our secondary mission is uh, we were going to um, assist on the airbase strike um, if requested by uh, Nightwing. So um, we get out there. We're everything's good. We're flying TOT. Um, we're about to like start going. NOE, and then there's a TOT as we're diving, which was fucking annoying. Another TOT adjustment. So we pulled up, returned up to altitude. We had a, I think, a, it started off with a MiG-23 engagement. Somehow we were ahead of the package, but I was definitely flying TOT. Um, there was a, a four ship MiG-23s. We scrammed north, and the Eagles dealt with them and killed them. Um, reset again, came around on carrot, went down. Um, on the way down, there was like 10 bandits maybe in the way of, of the airbase um, or, or of the uh, SAM site. Had a bit of a furball. Um, it was a bit chaotic, but I think we did a good job of mutually supporting each other. Killed some bandits um, and then basically punched a hole in the air picture. Um, and then myself and two pressed on the target because we were in position and close enough to do it. Um, I released a CBU. Uh, two released a CBU with lofting, lofting the CBUs. Um, my CBU actually did what a CBU does and actually killed like most of the site, which it should do. Um, and two CBU got a few vehicles too, and maybe a man pads or something. I'm not sure. Um, so that site was destroyed. Um, then we rejoined, 
we went up to Angels, and our game plan was that um, we were going to high altitude dive bomb um, melodrama with uh, CBUs, uh, targeting primarily aircraft. So we get up there. Um, the um, tin pod is, is still being um, annoying. So um, I tell uh, I tell three and four to kill uh, tin pot. I'm pretty sure it was active, um, although I had my jammer on, so it could have been masking it. I'm pretty sure it was active. Tell three and four to kill Tim Pot, um, and then myself and two go for melodrama. Um, we get capture on the, or sorry, we get tally on the airbase. Um, we don't see anything, so I actually vector um, two to drop bombs on POL next to um, there's a burning POL, I think, or maybe a burning aircraft. I, I told two to drop his CBU remaining on that. Turns out there were bandits down there, but I don't know if you saw the debrief, uh, Abe, but you killed a couple of MiG-23s that were down there. Um, and we also blew up a bunch of POL. Um, while I'm flying cover, uh, we get ambushed, sandbushed by an SA-4. Um, I have no idea what the fuck happened. I think I almost died. I, I, I don't know. I, was, I couldn't see the missile. I just was doing, I was counting and then doing break turns. Um, I think I defended two SAMs, and then on the way out, two also got shot by the same SA-4. Um, and then we were, while we were egressing, the SA-5 started shooting at us, um, which, you know, usually isn't a problem, but there's no chaff, and we don't, uh, so that started shooting at us, we had to post all, uh, scram north, and then once we were feet wet, um, we stayed NOE until we were outside of the SA-5 ring, and then, um, the, the Eagles covered us, and then we RTB'd, so, um, yeah, both, uh, SAMs destroyed, um, target airbase, killed some aircrafts on there as well, um, and some POL, so mission complete. Um, what went well? Um, well, I think our, our game plan was good. The, the actual attack, um, the, the actual attack that we briefed was good. Um, two, um, yeah, really good job rejoining. Um, there's, it was very hard to see what was going on due to the lighting um, and due to the sheer amount of Vipers that were in the air. So um, you managed to rejoin multiple times, which I thought was pretty impressive. Um, and the weapon deployment on the on the SAM site was was pretty much perfect. Um, even though that I killed most of the site um, in the first run, uh, your bomb did kill what, basically what was remaining. We might have even destroyed the entire site. I'm not sure. We'll have to check. Um, that was good. Um, yeah, the air to air stuff was good as well. I, th I I I think you thought that you got flustered, but I think you did a much better job than you think you did. Um, so we'll see in the tape. But I think you were you had a, you actually had a super high SA. I think you think that you didn't, but you did, <laughs> uh, because I could see where you were and you were you were engaging correctly. So uh, we'll see. Um, three. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. When 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 we got into that merge, I think you really took initiative of cleaning up. I think me and two got sort of tumbleweed. We were in like a, we were basically engaged. Um, I don't know if we were engaged defensively. We were definitely engaged. Um, and uh, you came in, deloused us and killed the bandits that were coming in from, I think it was the uh, south, southeast, I think they were coming from. Um, it was from like our yeah. right. Um, so, so that was definitely helpful um, and, and saved our ass. Um, and then four, I mean, like, yeah, just class act with the SAM attack, unbrief SAM attack with the DTOS mode. <laughs> and uh, also the, the yeah, the, uh, good good shout out, uh, good good job doing the uniform comm when we were task saturated. So that was, that was helpful as well. Um, debrief points, um, myself, um, I just, I was, my, my brevity was a little shitty and a couple of times I, I didn't think long enough before saying what I was going to say. So I, I just need to clean that up, um, a little bit. Um, and I also think that for some reason, all the directions were flipped in my head, but I'm usually, I'm used to attacking North. So I kept wanting to say North, but we were actually attacking Southeast and I fucked my whole brain up. So <laughs> spent too long in the Korean theater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that just fucked my whole brain. And Balkans is also heading North. So that completely fucked my brain up and I kept saying North and meant South. Um, anyway, so that, that happened. Um, yeah. For two, what do you got? You got the reef points for yourself. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess brevity could be better. It was a little rusty, but uh, yeah. Okay, three. Same. Messy calm. Four. I don't know how you stuck, stuck with me that whole time, but that worked <laughs> I great. didn't. I, I stripped twice and rejoined you. Good rejoin then. Four, you got anything? Oh, I, I guess I, I, I almost I shot down on Friendly Edge one more thing. So, um, yeah, need to, need to wait a couple of seconds before firing. 
Make sure I've got the clear avenue fire. Cool. We'll see in the tape. All right. That's it for Mahler. Off to Stone Cat 3. Nah, let's go with uh, Turkey. Off to Turkey. Yeah, so we had a bit of an adventure there. We had a um, minor bit of radio issues, so sh- should have gone through SOP of like talking about the clicky dance, about making sure all the radios are set because we had to go to manual frequency for one of our flight members, but got that all figured out and squared away. Yeah, got a little bit confused with initial timing, so we were a little behind the initial push of the package, but we caught right back up. We're trying to help clear things from higher altitude. In the initial engagement, uh, Element 2 took the lead because they were closer to the fight, so I sent them in. Fabulous job with engaging. There was a MiG-23 that got right in our midst, and I think Warhog took that out. And after that, uh, started setting up cap at high altitude to start trying to clear things from high altitude. There was a whole mess down low that we weren't easily able to help out with, that we didn't have the best S, or at least I didn't have the best SA on how best to help. We set back up, we got a request to support the actual strike from low level, so what I did was I had element 2 go in at low level, then 1 and 2 remained high so that we could maintain a global SA and make sure that nothing was coming. We did have some strikers that were trying to approach the area, but the first element did scare them off to make sure they wouldn't interfere with the strike. Uh, there you can talk more about that low level engagement. After that, uh, two ran low on fuel first, had to go home. Home, uh, Then we just regrouped and covered Mahler on their way out and then head back home as a three ship. And shout out to three for doing such a phenomenal job and another ace in the flight today. Do you anything to add? You're rich, Silence. you're muted. So much satisfaction, oh, there's no comment. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, agree on all points. I mean, uh, me personally, um, bit of comprehension in and out calls, and uh, of course, the classic uh, comms were a little shaky, could have been better. Other than that, uh, yeah, agree on all. Three, anything more? No, it was fun. Good lead. The first thing sorting was the first engagement, the second engagement was great. Then we go le- low level. Uh, we were a bit behind the strike, so yeah, probably should have hooked earlier, but we got low level. Everyone pushed through. And yeah, thanks for the strike for taking care of the effort once when we're not there. Four. Four. Anything else? Uh, it felt like helmet fire trying to figure out that radar for all that music and that thing. Because guys were calling out, even though I was trying to get the, you know, I was trying to do the bullseye thing, but I was like, mm, there's a lot going on. Then by the time I actually found the right guy, I almost merged with him, but thankfully one and two was back in. Otherwise, good flight. Awesome. Well, that's all for Turkey. Cool. Warhog. Um, timing from my point of view from the push was wonky. Uh, it was showing me we were we were two minutes ahead at the push point. So I I disregarded that and I I went with the uh, the brief spacing behind the eagles. Uh, supported them the first fight. Um. Yeah, we had a chat already about um, opinions and like. Uh, 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 timing and stuff like that, um, so I won't get in. We uh, we had good uh, good essay for the first engagement, at least the second engagement. Second engagement, I pushed down to the strikers' furball, uh, managed to catch the second twenty threes coming in, the second group of twenty threes. Uh, three and four stayed high, pushing towards bullseye, um, and then myself and three got nailed. Uh, I took a head on fox one from a low level guy. That two was uh, defending, 
and uh, RJ, in his own words, uh, was tumbleweed and took an unseen fox one below his nose. Um, yes, it was it was difficult. It was rough. Uh, not sure what happened after that, JB. If you wanna, if you wanna just comment on it. Yeah, sure. After that. Um, I mean, obviously, after after both our element leads were dead, we got a little discombobulated and had a hard time finding each other. So we essentially just fought our own little one-on-one -on -one fights um, until we we came home. So for me, I. For some reason, I thought four was actually three, so I was, you know, waiting for him to take the lead and everything, which didn't happen. I guess we should have maybe communicated better what our plan was, but yeah, we both survived, I guess, and uh, made it home. I think we might have helped out a couple of fights here and there, but nothing super, um, super to be super proud of, at least for me. After, for me, uh, at least, after uh, my number three died. Um, I was like out of flare, so I was just looking for number. I thought I was like calling on the radio, seeing if anyone in my flight was alive. And I think JB was like busy defending, so he didn't respond. So I called that it was just down to me. So I started like leaving because being alone with no flares is not a good idea. Um, but then JB ended up um, calling that he was alive, so I, I spent quite a while trying to find him. Um, then eventually. Eventually, I got to the target area, and there's like twelve blue guy, twelve blue guys just flying around. I didn't really know who was who, and I didn't know like I was not going to like determine if there was a bandit in the mix or not because I didn't have IFF. So I just decided to leave because I had no flares or anything. Basically, it. Alrighty, um, RJ stepped out already, uh, but like I said, from his side, he he suffered tumbleweed. Uh, Link sixteen, uh, what's the what's the term? Link sixteen Link crunch. Cripple. I don't know. Yeah, Link sixteen cripple. Um, uh, but yeah, otherwise, otherwise, that, that's that's pretty much it for uh, Warhog. We need to have a look at the timing in the ACMI, mm -hmm. as usual. Stonecat. We are a two ship targeting Tin Pot, which was the Western SA two, and. Our plan was not to use the PPTs, but to have the first element, sorry, the um, one guy in the flight do a pop-up attack with a CCIP drop of six Mark 82s on the fan song. And the other guy would be flying trail. And when the first guy pops up, the second guy would also pop a bit and then detoss, select the site, and then toss the bombs from a distance, also a stick of six Mark 82s. I think the plan was decent, we probably needed to have more ships, but we both fucked up our aiming. So, uh, D-Mod CCIP'd and his bombs, all of them fell short, and I did a detos and I briefed not to select the fan song with your target box, but to select something short of it, like a SAM. And as you know, in BMS, the in CCRP, and DDoS is a sub-CCRP mode, the bomb stick is not bracketing the target, but it actually starts from the target. In CCIP, it is bracketing. So I targeted Fan Song because I was helmet fired at this time, and all my bombs fell long. So one stick felt short of six uh, Mark 82s, the other one long, and the site was still active. What went well, what didn't went well. So didn't went well the bombing. What also didn't went well, and I ad didn't go well, and I admit without beating that I fucked up the timing over Black Hole initially, and that's because I was aiming for 500 knots, and I didn't realize that the carrot got pegged um, at the top of the speed tape. So I was thinking that I still have time before I have to accelerate to 500 knots, but in reality, I needed 600 or 700 knots. I wouldn't have made it on the 1926. So uh, I admit here, that was a mistake. Anyways, we, we Rolexed. Uh, but if we didn't, that would be a mistake of mine. Then the second thing, uh, what what did go well is uh, Demon did a great job. So he wasn't in the briefing initially sure about all the modes and bombing, but great job, great job sticking with me, great job um, doing what we briefed. Unfortunately, he was killed by an OSA overflying it, and that's uh, also something I forgot to say. So the ships in this theater... Uh, have missiles and also have uh, man pads, so they will hit you. So avoid the ships, either kill them or avoid them. And this uh, this applies to all ships that you will see in this theater, or most of them, uh, even something which is hard to be called a ship. 
Anyways, um, we failed to kill the SA2. Uh, we lost one ship and we egressed. That's that's it for Stonecat. And some general points and also a little discussion about the mission and the timing. So my idea was that whatever happens, we try to keep the strikers together and also the escort together. And for me, Black Hole was like a linchpin where everything what it was the origin of our attack. So everything should have started from Black Hole. And this, of course, requires that we are coordinated in space and time. Um, the Rolex call that I made was exactly because of this, because I, I realized that it won't happen because one flight got engaged by floggers. We still had floggers between us and the base, so I Rolexed it. And here's my question. Uh, maybe the Rolex was too short. Maybe we should have Rolexed it for so, so long that the strikers there, re retreat. I think and there was just a there point some... of confusion. When you said yeah, so, Rolex yeah, plus yeah, three, yeah. you meant plus one minute in addition to the two minutes you already called, correct? Okay. Yeah, so I think, I think we were expected to hear true. was Rolex yeah. plus one, and yeah. since we'd all acknowledge the plus two. So last week, uh, Streak enlightened us that Rolex is always from the base push point. So if you Rolex plus two and then you want to add another minute, you Rolex plus three. That's not how and we've done it for the. I, I have no trouble changing. That's not how we've done it in the last 10 years, and most of us weren't here last week. So. Yeah, so possibly that's the reason why. Um, we also did the same thing uh, last week or so two weeks ago, and then Streak said no. Rolex is always from your initial point, so if you want to add another minute, you add it to the initial time, and then you Rolex plus three. Um, so, okay, confusion. Maybe we should put this on the slide so that it's clear what you Rolex off. This is also tricky because you have to note your initial time. Uh, because in F-16J, you cannot do a uh, Rolex from your initial flight time. You always do it from the ones which you already Rolex. So it's additive. I I get it. But we need to agree on which strategy we take. But anyways, um, if we set this aside, my question is, what would be in this situation the best tactic? Shall we Rolex so much that we actually retreat and we still have... I don't know, three minutes to gather the strikers and let the caps clean up the area? Or do we forget about Rolexes and we just go banzai, all of us, planned time? That's that's what they would do in reality. They would There would be no calm except if someone is aborting and they would have just flown their mission as best as they could have. Because we didn't, we, know, didn't, but we didn't brief like, oh, the SA2 has to be down or whatever. So it doesn't matter, basically. If, if like All they need to do is they need to hit their TOT as best as they can. Um, and if you try to, you can't control everything when there's that many aircraft in the air. You have to just let the TOT be the sure. guide. But honestly, I, I don't care what they do in reality because in our events every week, if we do it like this, it's always the same thing that the package breaks and some people get on their TOT and they're alone yeah, and it, others don't. It broke because you tried to control it. That's why it broke. Literally, if you just would have let, like I was about to start attacking my target and then I had to abort because you Rolex everything. Yeah, but you can abort it when I Rolex it, but the guys who are 10 miles behind, you cannot catch up 10 miles in half a second. And it happens almost every week when we play uh, such theaters, um, is that we cannot reach a certain pre-planned point with all the package, and some people are on TOT, others are don't. So what we strive to do is to have some staging area so that we can gather the package and then we can come together. Because, you know, it happened... Two weeks ago, we had technical issues and two flights were behind. And you will reach your TOT, but your escort will not because so, you know, someone exited BMS. The, the second... I, I both can be true, right? I think it's oh. not a bad idea to Rolex so that everyone's at some Marshall Point together. I think what Krause is saying, and I think I agree, is that once we're all together, and if we need a Rolex so that we all get in the same place because tech issues or whatever, fine. But once we're all marshaled to go push in, we it, it's... Then, then you try not to Rolex because oh, like you know, someone you have to remarshal the package, right? Yeah, once um, the package is marshaled, everyone should push together. Um, and and a problem with this plan was the the marshal point was the push point. Uh, there were not two separate points, and we were fighting over the push point. So the package was marshaling over the spur ball. Well, not over. It was like five miles in front of, of black, right where the spur ball started. The, the marshal point wasn't the push point. The marshal point was uh, steer point three for you, and push point was steer point four. It was like. 20 or 30 miles be between them. This wasn't... Well, that, that's, that it, seems it was, like semantics. But it okay. it matters for timing, right? Because your your timing, if you're, you're marshaled, your package is all flying in formation, package formation, 
the same speed, the same waypoints, marshaled, right? There should be no Rolexes after that, because then otherwise you have to spin and remarshal the whole package. Mm-hmm. I, okay. I'd like to I'd like to bring up that maybe a balance of both opinions would be the sure. way to do it. So, you, you like you said, you marshal a former marshal. If you fly around circles for three minutes because so and so has had connection issues, so be it. And then once you cross a certain point, that's it. You you go. Like well, and that's that's the point that I'm making. <laughs> that's the point that I'm making is. I'm. I hear a Rolex call as I'm about to attack, which is we're like halfway in a I literally was. Yeah. I was thinking about just ignoring what you said and continuing. I, that's what I probably should have done. Well, I, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Rolex call was at fourteen twenty five. That was one minute no, no, before the other, the, the other one, the second one, the second one. The, the first one was okay. fine. The second one yeah. was. I was literally about to attack, and then yeah. it was like I oh, roll. I had to. Okay. I had to pull the flight out of an NOE yeah. dive, and return. Yeah. So I admit the second one was crap, but the, the, the reason why I called the second one is because Nightwing uh, said that they're like one minute behind. Yeah, so they should turn on their afterburner and burn towards the target. Make up the time. You can make up. Yeah. You, sh- you should always be burning to make up. That's the sort of point that I'm making is your one fucking job is to get to the target with the TOT. And you need to burn as much fuel as you can to do it because you don't want to. Rolexing the package is a sign of failure. And you, you should be, everyone should be burnt. Like, I, there were several points in the flight where I told these guys, like, we're going to burn our asses. We're going to go 10 degrees no down and burn to make up the time. And then when we got to the, t- when we get there and I'm on TOT, oh, yeah, we're going to Rolex in three minutes. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I admit the second Rolex was misplaced. Um, good. Then let's do it like this, that we have, like, a commit point from which on we don't Rolex anymore. Um, but we then have to make sure that, for instance, the escorts are where, or sweeps are where they are supposed to sure. be. I, I don't think yeah. they are this time. And also, we have to take into account that if, like in this situation, you have scramblers coming off and intercepting uh, a flight early, then okay, this flight is out of equation, which I guess we just accept. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to add again quickly, there has to be, and we maybe have to learn this through a couple missions again, there has to be a little bit of like uh, self uh uh like like keeping yourself alive right a sense of survivability so if you're if you find yourself you're the oka flight and you're five miles ahead and you think okay there's flipping 10 miles behind me is the eagle contrailing you probably shouldn't be there and you have to then scrap your tot and come off and and reset something like that we we need to maybe learn that Mm -hmm. so one that sense right one lesson for for me is that uh only one Rolex before we reach the, the commit point. And from that moment on, if the package is in shambles, okay, we go in shambles and we get our asses beaten. Um, and I think it's a fair point. I, I, I don't think it's we get our asses beaten. I think we actually stand a better chance, even if some people are you know 30 seconds behind or a little bit out of place. Like I think having a collective mass you know, shoving at the enemy all at the same time has a much higher probability of success than trying to reorganize and go back. And you'll see that's that's why we got on target this mission, because while people in the front were getting bounced into the fur ball, there was a mass of, you know, eight to twelve jets behind them. So you can just run away and behind the mass, you're now behind where you're supposed to be, but the package is still momentuming forward. And you'll see that in the fur ball. So that just in this mission, it, it shows very well. I'm just traumatized from, I think, last week, where, where what happened is that the escort was like 15 to 20 miles behind the strike. No, no, no. Right? it makes it completely, it makes perfect sense to marshal, make sure the package to, is together, but, you know, okay. I, I, I then, think we're beating a dead horse, we're on the same yeah. page. Then we push as a mass. Also, um, Eagles, guys, how was it for you to stay that high? I mean, were you uh, pinged by the SA-5 or launched it or SA-2, or were you... Yes. <laughs> okay. Like, Part of the, like, we'll see it on Acme, but part of the time when I get over the target area, after the circuits start to flow out, I get engaged by the SA-5. We were watching the SA-5 missiles track over yes. our heads. Mm, because yes. I, I don't have a good idea what to do with Eagles in such missions, so the F-16s, the escort, they went low level, but I don't know if it's a good idea to send Eagles low level, because this will end up in a dogfight. Just don't, and... just don't micromanage it, just say, go kill bandits. And and they're the, eagles. The, they can defend SAM launches. They can defend SA fives. And if they, or they can start to get shot by an SA five, and then they egress. Or they can go low and kill. You know, like I think they should be fangs out by default. Super aggressive, like trying to kill everything that's in front of them. 
um, when the, this when this deed is going in, or right before the deed goes in. The the current dynamic we have is pretty good. It's a pity myself and three died, which took the leadership out of our flight, um, and the cohesion out of our flight. But we we have a pretty good dynamic going. The the vipers support the eagles. The eagles go in shooting, and then the vipers clean up. It's it's a pretty good dynamic. All right. Um, good. The tape is there. I cannot drive it, and I cannot stay. So someone should take over. I'm downloading now. I can host. Thank you. Cool. Thanks for the brag, Batman. Yeah, you're welcome. This will be. Uh, the fun mission. Le- I mean, we'll be learning as we go how to uh, optimize this experience. Welcome to every military and every conflict of every war. <laughs> you're always learning. Uh, yes. I mean, we don't die. Great here. mission. If you're not learning, uh, you're failing to learn. Ah, uh, by the way, so, uh, Kraus, did you kill Melodrama or not in the end? Well, we didn't. We, did. we had CBUs. Oh, you had CBUs, okay. But we, we right. killed a couple of floggers and we killed some POL mm-hmm. that was on the runway. So, we, we, we revisit the airbase next week. Yeah. Uh, we killed both SA2s, though, so. Yeah. It, it was awesome watching that all of those engagements from way above because I could see like when you guys were calling in on the target, I saw when you guys got good effect. So that was awesome. So I think this is after that first relics call, and we're all pretty well marshaled together. So it happens right around here. No, this, this, is, this still was like, early for me. Yeah, this, this is still is, the um, marshal point. This is super early. We're still at the marshal point. Yeah, and then. But but. Yeah, the first Rolex got called like while we were orbiting the first Marshall. No. No, it was it was at the it's at that little dick to the southeast there. Hmm. The little dick thing. Nineteen twenty-five was the first Rolex call. Sorry. Yeah. So this is the first engagement with the Eagles. Call element two on that group. Yeah, you guys, you guys clean these dudes up. Ask me if I saw any of them. Yeah, so element two did a beautiful job of sorting and knocking those out. But we had their three and four of that flight. So we're like, oh no. And you'll see me actually roll over to turn in. Two actually gets a kill, but I try rolling behind the leaker. Oh golly, someone shoot this guy. Yep, I think they see him. Two. They're now they see him. Like, two beautiful job with that support. And one of those guys leaks through and uh, runs yes. into. Krieger gets a kill. Shoots him in the face. Good job. Eagles take a little bit to reset to get uh, element 2 inbound. Trying to build SA. So I'm curious what happened here from your perspective, because you guys start shooting at this guy, and then all three of the wingies just yeah. slam in, into the uh, vipers again down low. Uh, they dropped low, I believe. If you if we can see this from the side view, Did they definitely yeah. dropped low. Yeah, like, but like less than a thousand so feet up. Do we get like where did that guy start from? Were they all? They were all. Yeah. Okay. It was yeah, they were all That's all grouped up. All low, low, they right? split out. And at least one of you have these guys down low for, yeah. For yeah, quite so a this bit. one just defends, but nobody tries to sort on the other three. Like, if you lose radar lock, just turn in and try and require it. Don't just be like, oh, well, better drop and it. This is, this is the Oka, right? Yes. Down front? Okay. So then, so Kraus vectored us onto these, this group. Or, you know. And I was initially padlocked on this, or no, yeah, this guy here, who is this, the second guy who went. Cold, and then I was told to sort left, and I, I picked this guy up. Uh, I had no idea Batman was down there, so this is why I almost kill him. Oh, is this the ultra kill? 
Yes. So, so I'm still on my assigned target, and can you look at it Jesus. from my perspective. <laughs> look, at, look at it from my perspective. Which is gone to. Uh... So, I can't see Batman there. He's yeah. under my HUD. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm. I heard you fox out here like, as I'm firing. I see him coming. I see you coming to my HUD, Batman. And I'm like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> and Krause I... sweeps in. Yeah, I didn't even. Th yeah, I was so confused. <laughs> I thought I was shooting. I thought Krause somehow in front of me. I didn't see him sweep across. I was completely. Boink. Boink. Double lead. Boink. Well, he's oh, very good. worked out. Yeah. I started flaring now because I thought that your missile might hit me. But, you know, 20 seconds too late. Yeah. Krieger and Damon take out the other guy. Yeah, I'm about to take out Damon. I was like, oh shit, Viper in front of me. <laughs> and I told him to flare. But from here to, like, five minutes from now, now, like, there's going to be Bannis continuously entering, entering the fight. We're all just going to be spinning around down here. Um, here's where we kind of lose momentum as a package. Yeah. And, like, we have no idea where the Eagles are. I, all I see down here are Foggers and Vipers. Yeah, we were calling our ins and out on our intercom and trying to... Help sort out over there. I guess maybe this is like a package level point, right? Like, especially when you don't have AMRAMs, especially in an 80s theater, like, if the strikers are pushing in, I expect Escort to be nose hot, all, or, you know, Cap to be nose hot coming in with them all the way, right? Like, running a racetrack up at 40,000 feet isn't very helpful if we're merged down there. Right. I would agree. What? what? What I like to do uh, as kind of like the cap here in the, these sort of theaters is stay outside of the fur balls, but stay over them. Uh, and Just first pass. priority should be engaging any enter people entering the fur ball. You don't want to make the fur ball more complicated. That's bad. But engaging people entering the fur ball is very good because these are very dangerous. The other thing you could do if the pitcher is clear on the fur ball, orbit around the top, and pick opportunities for entry points, swoop in, take a shot, and get out, so you don't complicate the furball. Those are the two things I like to do um, when you're supporting furballs. In and you do this towards the end. There's, at, like, a couple minutes after this, like, a bunch of eagles swoop in and just start bagging guys left and right, and that was that was a really nice moment. But by then it's devolved a lot. What was that there? Was Potato hit? Yeah, yeah. so... Oh, uh, they, get, they got bounced by two. Somehow, somehow he shoots at a, a, a bandit down. It says I got hit there, but I didn't actually get hit. Yeah, Were you guys a uh, Viper air to air? Huh? Yeah, this was uh, Warhog. This was my flight. Yeah, this, this was RJ's one. unseen Fox 1. He said he was completely tumbleweed. Um, okay. I think Did the, you guys uh, just not see these guys come up? That was a Fox 2, though, that got him. The the eighties was a bit of a oh, you're right. The eighties was a bit of a shock to the system to uh, for him. I was just following him. I was following um, him. and you'll see myself and JB engage low there ahead of you guys. Where are you? Didn't actually see the twenty three. I just picked up the twenty one that shot at me. Oh, you guys are down here. How'd you guys get? Were you the same flight? We came in to back you guys up. Hmm. Okay, and then the second element just got stripped and ran face first into a no intentional. I, I I called that I was going right down to the furball and they well they're they're in the, the exactly correct place to prevent these guys from entering the furball. It's just ineffective, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, just don't pick them up. Yeah. And then shortly after, I take one to the face, just down. Oh, I wonder if that there. was too close. That was in our min. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have min ranged it. Yeah, it although you like look like, but you look like you're stalling. No, that was me just trying. I lost sight of him, so I was just trying to keep pulling until I picked him up again, which I did here. Oh boy! And I killed but him. I mean, at at a hundred knots or something. What do you mean? Uh, spinning is the great speed, instincts, but stay fast. I, I can't see on the tag. I can't see on the thing. That's my altitude. You're like uh, two. You're like two twenty, two fifty calibrated. As you spiral down here, and get slower, point. even like there, you're probably. I mean, you're at well, point three miles. Up. I was pointing up to, get to shoot him. 170 knots. He went down to. 
Oh, it's, it's fine, fine. just it's a scary so. speed. Well, I was kind of surprised because I was just following JB and he, I look over to my left Exploded. and he's a fireball. So I look out forward and I see a uh, missile coming from my face. So I just reacted. So, Banshee enters the fight. These guys just blasting away. And this is this is exactly the point we're we're making. Like uh, people who are resolving this furball as they're still super tumbleweed here are coming out, while people who have good SA are hot and coming back in. And um, like, yeah, this is so good. like Richie's fight was good is all Fritz. yeah. But then this is I scary. can't defend this. I can't defend this false one at the face. Ah uh, shit. My my hope was JB would sort that. That the guy did a, a massive vertical maneuver. My hope was JB would sort him, but JB turned out to be defensive. Which these fogger, the these fogger radars are. Oh really no, easy hot to, pocket! Uh... What? Your your seven uh, is tracking here, and then you snip it right before it hits. The yeah. bottom radar line is yours, and that's it. Drops off right there, and it was tracking all the way. Why don't I see radar lines? Why did I yeah, snip enough. it? I think I snipped it because. I can't remember why I snipped it. That was probably yeah, a good reason. Right. You you it, a nice skill right there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the flogger radars are pretty easy to notch. So if you get a missile shot to the face, like fucking whale on the stick, and just try and put it on your three nine, or even just turn that through it, like extremely I know, close. You have you have less than seconds. Are you gunning him, JB? I overshot him. Ah. I see you come off, and then he sticks his nose up, and then I get a side on I think shot. these Apexes are on me. Is that yeah, they, are, are they, they, they are. They're, the lock lines show them on you. Why don't I see lock lines? How do I get lock lines? Or do I not have the right tack view file? You have to have the premium one for lock lines. Do you have the converted one open? I have the one I downloaded from the yeah. link. Yeah, that one shows lock lines, lines for me. It's probably you don't have your license in tech or something dumb. I doubt that. But... I do. Have I also questions. I also don't show you in the um, client list. I see. Maybe that's the problem. I see. Oh, do you have an older version? Or oh, he's left. Probably. There he is. I see him back in now. I now I, I now I don't see him. One nine three. <laughs> is there a newer version? Uh, one nine four. Yeah. So maybe oh, whoever like whoever there. called this fox saved my life here. I think it was you, Raz. Yeah. Uh, oh, this yeah. one right here. Right, like I look up at the sky and I just see missiles fucking flying across my line of sight. Damn. But calling this fox because you call this fox, I instantly flare, and that definitely saves my life. Where the fuck am I right now? No, I'm in there. Okay, you're right there. On the outside. I think. Cross, you kept talking to Breland, and you were you were talking to me, but it was actually Breland who you. This is the see. this is the guy chasing you, and yeah, I, was, I, v, was I VID him. Was, yeah, so I, I had a here. launch warning this entire time. Pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you're running out of this fight. Yeah, he said he was defensive, and he's like, "I'm still defensive. I'm still." <laughs> well, like, yeah, I mean, keep I had, going. I had a launch <laughs> I mean, warning you were. this whole time, yeah, but yeah. I, so I think it was an RWR bug or something. Yeah, that's well, I mean, you don't. It continues you, for several minutes. How you if if I hard lock you and get the launch warning and you get the launch warning, how do you know when it's no longer guiding from the RWR, right? Like if if I've still got you hard locked and my missile's already fallen out of the sky, well, it, it would make sense to keep beeping if you have still got the same hard lock. No, but the I mean, yeah, it's a different different PRF, different like, right? It's a but the, but the but the jet the jet guiding it does not know when the missile's fallen out of the sky. I mean, maybe BMS does because it's omniscient, right? But the jet yes. would keep that for the entire lock, in the, right? In Until you, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, RWR state is also just sticky sometimes in the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's true as well. I, yeah, yeah. But my, my, point, my point and your point are not mutually exclusive, but they're different points. Uh, yeah, but this is the guy, and I, I VID him when he crosses my 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 canopy yeah. here, and I reverse and try to get him, and eventually chase him down. But this is yeah. the guy. This is the leaker I call on uniform. Yeah, and right about here, like, Abe shouting that he's offensive. You just dodged missiles. I'm like, look at my speed tape, and I'm doing 320 knots, and this guy is like crossing, you know, in a two yeah. circle with me, and I'm like, okay, it's jettison stores time. So, <laughs> I I was so tempted to jettison, but I didn't. I, know. I was like, I, I mean, knew I, I figured out. I was going to die in that first. It worked game. out. Luckily, well. it went after me instead of one of the closer guys. Yeah. 
Okay, and I'm so, totally tumbleweed where this guy went. He pulled up high. So I was referencing Bre So that was Breland who I was referencing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was. And I figured it probably was in the time, but I, I knew I just needed to kill this guy before he flew into the rest of the package. So I said, okay, you do your thing. I'll do my thing. <laughs> dude, this is crazy right here. <laughs> so th slow this, this, slow this down, dude. Slow this down. you got to reverse this and slow it down. I, I see this <laughs> asshole coming you towards me. Too? No, no, you can do it. I, I, I see this asshole coming towards me, and I just pull into him and, and snapshot, and then he jinks out of the way, and then Raz gets him. Yeah, look behind. <laughs> That's the perfect time to shoot, too, right after they've crossed. Beautiful. I think this is about when uh, my guy turns around and, yeah. Yeah, and then he decides he's going to pick a fight and dies immediately. Oh, no. Yeah, well, not immediately. So, so he so here, like I'm like okay. At some point, I've got to have to maneuver. There's no way that he's still chasing me down. And I was I started the turn and he came off for some reason. I killed him. That's why he's dead. No, 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 but he came off before. Oh yeah, yeah, because he started yeah, to turn because he turned, turned back to you for some reason. Look yeah, at all those red, know. those red uh, parachutes. Yeah. Lots of shark food. So how many? We took like only two losses or something like that in all that nonsense. No, there was a bunch of people that got killed in the in the. I think it was a bunch of people. We lost someone to an Osa. We lost. Uh, 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 RJ up there. Yeah. So two losses to this point, yeah. And I think Fritz too. Oh yeah, and Fritz that head on Fritz uh, the, Fox, uh, the, Fox the Apex, two yeah. or Fox one. And now we're like headed into the target, right? Uh huh. And everyone's hot. Look at this. This looks good. And this, this is, is fucking scary. This is terrifying. I, I was. Yeah, I didn't see him either. Uh, Kraus was calling out that guy, and I was looking for him on my radar, and I saw the. There was a big. There was a big cloud right above you, right here. I couldn't see anything, so it, I don't know if the cloud was obscuring your vision, but it was no obscuring idea. mine. I had no idea you guys were in front of us. And yeah, I also thought you were in back of us. I thought that. So I didn't know you were in front of us either. <laughs> So when we're when I'm calling out this, I'm like, can't you see? There's just a big furball in front of us. It was you get really desperate because a big furball means like someone's fucking dying. <laughs> you were talking about me. I thought you were behind us. I I also thought you were behind us. Okay, that makes sense now. But yeah, oh, boy. See, I, Again, thought, I, I, thought, I thought this was going to be a, a a calm engagement. So I'm like, hey Abe, get the high guy. And then and then you're yeah. like and then I hear oh shit I'm defensive defending it I was like what the fuck <laughs> oh boy this so this is when I ID him too and then I reverse the wrong way uh, and Raz and I come around on him at the same time but he's at this point I'm guessing oh. that I think to your JB or something whoever did this nice job That's, I don't know uh, how you uh, IFS. Here, here, oh, here's yeah, where the fucking down. eagle show back up. Um, and this was that was that was good. That's so nice. So the the eagles are probably the only ones in the theater with IFF. Mm. The downside yeah, is they don't have flares. To work. Yeah, it takes ten days for the IFF to work. Yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> Look at how sexy this is. I love this attack. Oh, you dumped it though. I just love the uh, geometry and everything. The geometries, that would have been an awesome kill. Were it not for, uh... Oh, and he reacquires. He knows. He knows. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But yeah, now I'm turning in here, and I just see, like, it's getting hairy, and, like, a big fucking eagle swoops across my field of view, and I'm like, okay. We, yeah, we might make it out of this. <laughs> We're in nice, comfortable, warm hands. I end up skipping it, because the two is launching, and, yeah, it does get pretty gnarly. Oh, yeah, you're defending two SA2s as you're trying this to kill. Is, oh, this is God. good. This is good. This is perfect. Stay fast. Perfect. Yes. This is why we stay fast. <laughs> if, you, if you pulled any harder and lost that airspeed, you'd be dead right now. Good job. But you were, like, fucking... Yeah, you're supersonic, yeah. and you just literally outran that yeah. missile. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. That's exactly the what you is, want to do. It's a short-range missile, like, super... Yeah, like, you can easily well, outrun it if you're too, fast. Like, I mean, keep it the the too, Eagle, yeah. Eagle's got some, you know, oomph behind it. So Let me know I was blind on that MiG-23. Don't ask me why I ain't killing because I ain't see him. And here I'm just, like, flying off it's of all like, like, Chris is like, okay, I'm in, and I want to, like, fly with you and stay cover. And then uh, I see it. And then there's comms about this, this. Yeah, there's comms about this guy. 
I said, is that the high guy? Which was great, because it cued me to look up, and I just see this big... And you're like, yeah, the high guy, Fox, too. I'm like, wait, that was my guy. <laughs> and, you, and then you immediately... You're, no, you're, you're closer, so it's a good shot, but then you immediately say, I'm out of missiles. I'm like, jeez, I wish I took that shot earlier. <laughs> so, so this, I was trying to save missiles by not double tapping. This attack here is... I, I know mm -hmm. I'm unsupported, and I'm like, I'm going to fucking hit this target. This shit is dangerous as fuck. I, I want to point out how heavily defended this target is. Dude, there there is like twelve SA nines and twelve Shilkas defending this target. Which is great. This theater is exactly how it should be. That you don't have like big strategic Sams like sitting there with their dicks in the wind. But like every time any one of us popped up, yeah, I just see crisscrossing trails of Sam launches from Shorad. It was great. And the site's dead now. Yeah. I saw a good effect, but I I didn't know, so like I wasn't oh, sure. man. And someone still said that it was. Someone said it was still active. Here's where Richie dies. He just flies into the frag from Krieger. There, there, Krieger just killed uh, a bunch of Mig 23s on the runway, and so they're probably running at their spawn points. Yeah, look, they respawn. So those are the ones that you kill, uh, Abe. They respawn yeah. exactly where the first two died. Oh, is that why it was burning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, if you back oh. up, if you back up like uh, thirty <laughs> seconds, Krieger's attacks right here, and if you click on those Mig 23s, you'll see yeah. new ones spawn and like. 15 in the seconds. exact same position, so, so they're exactly they spawning spawn inside spawn. the wreck. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Did he used to do that? I feel like that behavior's gotten worse over time. Mm, pretty sure he's done that. <laughs> also, if you zoom out, I'm just overhead, yeah. helping try and maintain the SA, making sure there's no one coming in, and I just see these strikers, and I'm trying to turn them away from you guys. A, a version of this, where, of this game where jets don't disappear into the ether... I'd like to see the uh, the north D you can actually strike in the field and they're yes. trapped in their shelters. Yes. Like, like yes. Oka is actually about on the ramp or in shelters. Or in shelters. I'd like to see uh, the north north or this the west deeds attack. Uh, is that this guy? Yeah, we have Batman in. So this is your first pop up. Oh okay, God. Ripple six. Oh, over the site. Oh, jeez. Oh, and that seems just short. Look at that last bomb. It looks like it comes just short. Yeah. So. It frags a, a rail. Yeah, sure. yeah, the launcher is at 75. The perfect, perfect heading, mil. perfect, perfect uh, target point, but early release. These are um, low drag. Yeah, they have to be. Low drag off. Yeah. 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 And I'm. This was just glorious to see up at altitude. <laughs> oh, you just bracketed, damn. Yeah, both of you, yeah. Unfortunate. Well, we gotta go back next week. No, 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 no. Keep no, going. No, <laughs> Well, we do, but... Uh, for the airfield, yes, but... For the airfield. So, um... The loft keeps you alive. The new loft symbology I really like. It works really well. It's, it's better nice. now. Um... So this is when we're rejoining. The entire package is the entire package is out, but we say what, what is we this? still got bombs. <laughs> those are those are limb sixes. Those are uh, the Polish frescoes. They're really shit. Uh, uh, the uh, database is U twos for me. Yeah, that's uh, the database. Them ones, fitters. Okay. Oh, fitters, not frescoes. Aren't they? Are they make twenty one? No, they're seventeen. No, make make seventeen. The fitters, I think. Not make quite seventeen. Well, and so in this theater, they have they have frescoes, fitters, mm. and fish beds. Those are showing up as uh, fitters for me. Two uh, statues. Interesting. So what? Uh, Krause and Abe are going to do what they can on the airfield, and yeah, you so guys just do knife attacks? Pause this for a second. So um, give, me, give me control. Um, yeah, so let me go back a little bit. Where's the runway? Okay, so like there is a giant cloud like right here, and yes. and so my plan was we were gonna go like left around it, and then we were we were gonna like attack through here, but that didn't work. So we ended up going through another crack in the cloud here, and then come like we we transverse this, and then attack that way. But you'll see what happens in a second. So I'm just flying cover. I'm out of bombs. Um, where did your Where did your second bomb go? I had to jettison it when, um, you'll see, mm. you'll see in a second. No, sorry, I'm not out of bombs right now. I'm flying cover for you. And gotcha. then as soon as that SA-4 gets fired at me, that, was, in, in a moment, I jettison that's, it. 
That's a SA five at Eagle. Okay, that's the first. Those were the missiles I was seeing. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So this one is yeah. not fired at me. This one is just fired at uh, Eagle. Ah, uh, this SA two is fired at Eagle. There's an okay. SA four launch like right around here. Um, we'll see it in a second. No, no, it's, uh, it's, you see, it, it's already there. It's oh there. no, it's not. Yeah. That's SA five. So anyway, the four's, so, right four's next to it, though. The four's right next to it. Yeah, so we right have. Here. So I have tally on. I don't see these bandits, but I see like a pol and I see a burning fire, and I was like, hey, that is your target too. Um, you're cleared hot, and then um, I'm just gonna fly cover and make look for Sam launches and shit. And as I'm flying cover, I, I, my plan was to like fly this way, basically, parallel to the target, and look look as he attacks. Fucking SA4 ambush. I think it was, it must have been. Yeah, yeah, there it is. This yeah, there thing, you go. This thing comes up at me. I I can't see shit right now because it's like really dark. So I'm like, okay, it's pretty far. That's like 20 miles, 30 miles, right? Yeah, but you know. So I, I'm no, just, I mean, it's just good. I'm just doing break. I'm just doing break turns. Um, <laughs> still, still don't know if this thing's tracking on me. And then I get another Singer Four launch. Um, and I think now that one's on me. I think you get a Singer Five, maybe. I got two Singer Fours, and then you know, let's see what you do. So you're you're. This is before your attack, right? Yeah. So this is me flying cover, and then no, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. you're getting tally yeah. right here. It gives me space to do the attack. Yeah. Oh, you saved Eagle with the yeah with the oh, strike. Yes. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but that that SC five is on you too. Eagle, you've got all the. There's your there's your first SC four. Oh, we watch that defense. Wait, what happens to Eagle? He survives. Does he just drag it out. Yeah. yeah, we should watch that in a sec though. Here, let's finish what we're here. Sorry, I got distracted. Also, Eagle survived. I got distracted. Wait, what happened? Did your attack already happen? I was looking. I was like, yeah, he just—it just, it just happened. It just happened. <laughs> All right, so you're, yeah, so you're, happened. so you're coming. This is in. Probably, it's just two there, right? Yeah, just two. Yeah, but I don't we even see know. those. I'm aiming they... slightly left of them. We didn't know they were there. But, but... <laughs> dead. I, there's, there's just a burning wreck there. You can't see shit. And then as you come off, you get so the S five, right? SA4. Yeah, so I'm just climbing back up. I'm like, okay, I better climb up. So I get the SA4 launch. That second one there is on me. You can see me defend it. I'm like, oh fuck. And then you're, I think you're clean, and you climb back up. Um, and then I see these ships here. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I think I have an SA5 fired at me right around here. I don't think so. I think they were yeah. all on eagle. Oh, that one was no, on no, eagle. No, no, no. They were, they were a bunch. We, we, they were like four or five fired at me and Kraus. Every time I'd climb up. Oh, there you go. So there's another one. That one's on me. You can see me split us into the deck, and then we yeah. defeat it. And, and then, then we climb back up again, and another one gets launched. <laughs> this five's not even going to the right postcode. As soon as you break, no. as soon as it break locks on you, it starts shooting at me. Yep. Yep. So there you defend, and I climb back up. I watch there's going to be another launch in a second because you're going to break. We're just like. <laughs> <gonna break. laughs> We're just. So watch, it's going to fire another one in just a second. And Brian and I are like, yeah, we're like 10 miles in front of you, just Maybe like not. watching the fucking Sam's. No, yeah, we're watching the SA5. Yeah, that's where I was like, if your feet dry, it's no factor. You've you've broken luck. I also didn't know if this island yeah, was friendly, I mean, so I was like butt puckering. I should I should have like no, looked no, no, this the was friendly. I should have yeah, looked this the was proof. friendly. Yeah, um, I knew that the land northwest of us was friendly. All right, where's Breland? So, okay, we can always. Where you at, Breland? I was watching that attack. This is it. Is this it? No. This is it, yeah. This is, this is the run-in, this is it. I think this oh, is it. Run. Yeah. yeah, this is run. You were in details? So, uh, so I, I found it on the... Well, I, I used the, the PPT Wait, to find it. Yeah. I find it on the, the radar, uh, oh find it God. visually with DTOS, and fire on the radar contact. <laughs> um, uh, these have 500 feet spacing, but they land 2,000 feet apart. Uh, yeah, it was CCRP. I, so I... I I cross correlated uh, the radar contact that I thought, based on the radar disposition, was the fan song with visually yeah. with DTOS, and then I fired on the CCRP. I like used DTOS to confirm I was shooting what I thought I was. Use DTOS. I don't follow, but so I used the FCR to find it. I looked out and saw where the dot was, 
I yeah. used DTOS, looted on the dot, and I fired. I, I went back to the FCR. So like, I, I don't I, understand I, what that middle step had, that had no effect on the attack. But so okay, he's just fine to get in. No, no, it was it was. I was visually cross referencing with the yeah. the the. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you just got the pipper on the HUD. Yeah, the peeper. Well, so my my plan was uh, to find the site with the CCRP, yeah. and then switch to DSOS and fire in that. But I saw that I was like perfectly the right contact on the radar, and if I found the fancy on the radar, that's gonna be more accurate than me putting a pipper on DTOS. So I went back to it. All right, you can take the control. That makes back. sense. Uh, Raz, I, I mean, I think that's all. The is there anything left to show? I think that's the most of it. Eagle hangs out and gets shot at a bunch. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, I want to see this defense. That's great. Yeah. So okay. It's like... So Bree kills the one right as that two is launching at you. Yeah. So I see the two go stupid, but I still have the fives. So like I have visual on these fives, so like I'm gonna just take you all out of energy, get away, do different turns. <laughs> oh wow! You literally just outrun him. Yeah. The fucking oh, and that one. Oh my god, that one is close. <laughs> that, that one was really angry. <laughs> yeah, so... And here comes another. <laughs> you could see the missile trails really clearly on the car. Yeah, you could. They were so smoky, yeah. so visible. Couldn't tell if they were Kraus or the, or the missiles, though. He also had a smoke on this whole time, so it was that was true. <laughs> It wasn't the whole. Well, was it the whole time? I think it was like. There's the whole time. No. Oh, you, you turned it off about now, like when you're egressing. It was the whole time you're over the airbase. There's a lone Swede keeping up foreign relations. Okay. <laughs> the the Swede actually shoots down some of the helicopters. Oh yeah. They oh, so the Swedes are in the. Uh, Wait, I thought they're now. neutral. I thought they're supposed to be. Well, look, he's shooting. Look, no, look, 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 Dude, what the heck? Yeah, but it's, well, yeah, we should get the fuck out of Sweden, that, maybe. It's, it's there's once defense, earlier. Uh, there's once wait, earlier. Is Sweden at war in this? They are now. What are doing over there? <laughs> Shooting a sky flash at this freaking 222. Look at that. It's awesome. Look at this little A37. Isn't that like a trainer? The Viggen. No, look at that's, that. the, the Viggen, that's the Viggen, dude. Oh, that's the Viggen. Oh, okay, it's a Viggen. Okay. All right, fair enough. So that thing's actually capable. The, yeah, that's the their interceptor. interceptor. So they've got two by sky flash and two by the, I, the icon in tac view is like a little trainer plane. At least no, you know. it's, in mine it's a. Uh, okay. <laughs> I need like to. Get, I need to get whatever you Canards got. Canards and everything. I need to get whatever you got. I, I'm also on a super old tac view, so there's that. No, that's probably one, it. One eight eight, I think. Uh, oh. so yeah, right. good good effect to target. Good mission. Did we miss anything? Crazy that fucking we mission. Wanted to see? Anything else? Yeah, anyone wants to see anything? Uh, Starlight gets engaged by SA5. Starlight cannot uh, die. JB also takes a million SAMs at one point. Who? JB. Oh, from that from that uh, Western SA2. Yeah, like a million SA2 launches. I don't know if they actually tracked or what. Oh, oh maybe it is the Sorry, Eastern. Sorry, looking for. Oh, JB. there it is. Oh, so it is the Eastern one. Is that earlier? Yeah, it must be earlier. I don't know when it happens. There it is. <laughs> oh, it's both SA2s! Oh, is both JB SA2s. just the closest victim? Yes. And, oh my yeah, goodness. He... Stay fast. God, you're just hearing launch warning after a launch warning, and you're <laughs> Artigar screaming at you. Oh, you LOS them, and what? Do you pop back up, and they immediately start shooting at you again? Yep. yep. <laughs> Two's got Mick twenty three on my six o'clock. Somebody could clear me. Two's flying out cold. Jamie, this is awesome. Oh God! And it, Whoa! Is that like a gun? <laughs> gun from <laughs> space. <laughs> oh, that's the guy that we. Yeah, dealt with it a couple seconds later. That guy yeah. thought he was an ace. <laughs> the ground has a PK of one. Anyways, cool. Yeah, great mission, guys. That was fun. That was a blast. That was a lot of fun. Great mission.
And what this also shows us is even with the timing shenanigans, 